Greetings, Internet. I am Resplendent Seraph, coming to you on a very scorchingly hot South Florida day. As you can kind of see, even with the windows uh, closed, it's, uh, it's still really super bright out there. It was actually really nice early this morning, and then the clouds parted and the sun started to just bake us. But I hope everybody's having a lovely weekend. And as uh, people start to file in here, um, brief, brief, brief recap for anybody watching on YouTube sequentially. Last last episode, we um, managed to get through a bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, I know that's a super accurate uh, summation there, Seraph. Um, but we dealt with winters because uh, we were dealing with all the stuff after Foreside. And so we had uh, two streams ago, we had just reached the pyramid. So we dealt with all the stuff in Scaraba. We got to the deep darkness, managed to get through that. Who got Starstorm? We reached the Tenda. They're shy. We need to get the Book of Shyness to cure it. And we know that Apple Kid was borrowing it because of a phone call. And when we go to see Apple Kid up in this uh, kind of Dr. Andonetz's lab area, we find out from the mouse that he was kidnapped. And we know that they're in the Stonehenge base. And so that's where we're at right now in Winters at the periphery of Stonehenge. We're going to go back in there and we're going to save Apple Kid and Dr. Andonuts and possibly anybody else who's been kidnapped at this point. And without any further ado, let's kind of just get this started because with uh, when it comes to this part of the game. Get this all, all started here. Let's play. Let's launch. We do have to get into the Stonehenge base, and then we might kill a few extra Starmen, just in the hopes that we might be able to get the Sword of Kings from Starman Super. I had debated whether or not... Oh, there we go. Greetings, Darkstar! How are you, man? How are you, my friend? So we're playing Earthbound, and uh, I did not end up trying to farm for the Sword of Kings in between <laughs> all of the, uh, in between this week and last week. Because my concern, you don't really need the Sword of Kings, that's true. Hell, my first bunch of playthroughs on this, I never actually even got the Sword of Kings. It would be nice to have. And so I had debated whether or not I was going to get it, but in my experience, the amount of effort it takes to get it. Yeah, he's, yeah, backup healer. That That is one thing he does excel at. He's a good backup healer. Uh, I knew what you meant. <laughs> uh, and when you really need to bust out the Psy attacks, his Star Storm is pretty good. <laughs> I'm already right, Jason. Unforeseen emulator circumstances make me glad I kept Thursday's stream short. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, save file didn't save. Oh, it's the worst. That is the worst. But greetings, everybody. Glad to see you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just going to bash this guy because Mook Senior really isn't vulnerable to a whole lot. I think he only takes half damage from freeze. He'll take full damage from fire, but fire is not really good if you only have one of them. Currently speedrunning the first three battles. <laughs> yeah, we'll shoot and we'll bash. But um, but yeah, Deep Fry, what I was saying earlier, um, my concern was if I had farmed for the Sword of Kings and gotten it, I think I would have been too high level for the rest of the game. Which, yeah, when playing by myself, on, you know, the 30th, 40th, 50th, whatever playthrough this is at this point. Being a little over leveled isn't really that big a deal. Yeah, I really don't want to fight two of those. May not have a choice in the matter, but okay. And yeah. yeah, these things aren't really worth my time, and I know there are two ways to go. I don't think there are any presents in this particular area. Oh, yep, there are, never mind. There is. And it's right there. Let's try and scream. Oh, scan them off this time. 
Now, nope, can't scan these guys off. All right, fine. Okay, now I'll f use fire. Now there's two of them. It's at least worth my time. Or worth the X, um, side points. Yeah, good. Oh, no, that was terrible. I was thinking, yeah, sure, just look at me. I didn't realize it was going to diamondize me. Fuck, oh, that sucks. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, bash. And then... I don't think that can heal diamondization. I think I have to run back. Yes, okay, good. Never mind. We're good. Hey, freak bot, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. And that's the end of the Mook Senior B. <laughs> okay, good. Healing, uh, healing Gamma does, in fact, cure diamondization. Thank goodness. Not much fucking bacon inside my apartment. Yeah, it's hot outside, man. It is pretty hot. Oh, Ness leveled up. I mean, that's what AC is for, right? Unless your AC isn't working. Let's see what's going on. All right, Jeff takes that. Jeez, that means you guys are... Oh my god, you guys are just filled up with shit. Uh, you have a lucky coin? Shit, that's annoying. Ugh. Shit, man. All right, fine. Yeah, everything else is better. You've got a lucky coin. But you get to a point of, um, I've got so much stuff. Upside is getting the hidden items I missed the first time around and redoing those fights more efficiently. There you go, right? Uh All right, I've got issues here. Oh, I do not have a multi-bottle rocket. That's annoying. I thought I bought a multi-bottle rocket. I guess I only bought a big bottle rocket. Er, yeah, I'd like to get rid of some of this stuff if I could. Hmm. We didn't get very far into the Stonehenge base, so if we're going to back out and try and get some item space cleared off, now is probably the time to do it. Because, yeah, I'd like to sell that lucky coin and get that freaking spot back. The exit mouse will want to keep I don't really know about the snake bag, pizza. I mean, the pizza we'll probably use. Monkey's Love is pretty neat. I'm trying to remember what this does. Monkey's Love. Gift from a monkey can be used during battle. Yeah, thank you. I think it just makes the monkey show up and attack once. It's kind of neat, but I don't think the monkey's love is all that big of a deal. Yeah, it just poisons an enemy. That one's not particularly good. I don't think that banana is anything. Yeah, oh my god, we're gonna get all of them. Yeah, fine. Use it. Oh, buddy. Come on, Starman. Come on. There we go. So one of the interesting tactics with this is a lot of times Starmen like to teleport. And because they could teleport, they're not as limited in motion as the other things that might be with them. And when they teleport, if they teleport somewhat close to you, but not inside your party, and then you rush in, you'll almost always get a surprise attack. And so, yeah, that's kind of the tactic I used there. Since there are two of them, heavy bazooka time. Yeah, foo, just heavy attack there. There we go, real damage. I love this music, man. Depending on when somebody goes. There we go. Yeah, it's like negligible damage. Alright, so that'll take half damage, but it doesn't matter. He was close enough. We finished him off. So marvelous. How's everybody's weekend going? So late. Maybe we can scroll them off. 
Well, we scrawled the one off. We'll take it. Yeah, shoot. I'm trying trying to get through here without with using as minimal using the minimal or as fewer as resources as I can. In my opinion, the enemies here their only purpose is to just kind of whittle you down. Ah, cool. Now Pooh has the better life up. Come on, buddy. There we go. I think I was too far away. Oh, we still got our surprise attack. But we're still not to the point where we can uh, kill them automatically. So I had um, either sold it or I stashed it. But the Casey Bat, one of its few legitimate uses, in my opinion, is to get auto wins in this area. So if I had kept it, granted, I'd rather have the, the item spot. But a perfectly legitimate use would be to equip Ness with the Casey Bat, because then the, the math the game does to see if you could beat it in one round or not is much higher because it doesn't factor in hit chance. It just factors in offense if you're actually hitting. And so you'll get automatic victories with the Casey Bat a lot easier. And of course, I didn't do that. Okay, so now we got a choice here. I think this... Yeah, I think that just leads over here and then it meets up here. So if you don't really know the base layout very well, you might theoretically go in a circle up there. Oh, fuck. Just run away from this thing. This thing likes to self-destruct. And it's that's just not worth my time. God, I hate that fucking atomic bot. The worst is when it's with a whole bunch of other things. Because it can heal. So you're doing a bunch of damage to things. It's healing them. You can't destroy it first, because otherwise it'll explode and kill all of you. It sucks. <laughs> Let's just do damage while that hit point counters. Okay, good. And it stopped Ness from taking damage. And then we'll just have Ness life up himself. Nothing up there. Cover a good 100 HP, basically. Little, little by little, little by little. One of the unfortunate parts about those Starmen is sometimes they can really teleport um, and kind of skip corridors. Yeah, I was too far away. Oh, no, I wasn't. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll just bash. Heavy bazooka time. Boom. This, oh, it dodged. Fuck. I might finish off anyway. Yep, perfect. So it really didn't matter much. We just wasted Paula's turn, really, by Ness missing. In the grand scheme of things, that's really not that big a deal. All right, cool. We're starting to gain levels like crazy now. And this is without farming. <laughs> so you can see how... Oh, fuck. God damn it. I was hoping to get that Starman to start warping in. All right, good. Let's get away from this robot. Then we'll ambush the Starman. Take that. There's an outside chance we could beat the game today, but I'm inclined to think it will probably be next Saturday when we beat this. Just because of what's involved. I guess it depends on how late I stream, but kind of got a late start because Cat needed to get played with. Ugh, fucking Cat, man. Uh, let's go down this way. Come on, Starman. Let's teleport down here, this. And I had an allergic fit. So I had to calm my eyes and sinuses down. Otherwise, I would have started streaming much earlier today. I ended up not really having that many uh, errands to do. Just because I took yesterday off and ended up just having a lazy day yesterday, but also did some errands yesterday. 
So I, I was thinking, oh, today I'll get started nice and early. Got started like the middle of the afternoon. As usual, could not account for, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but we should get it. I think at this point we could just auto bash. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, all again to level. I like that. Now there were two of them. That another one. Come on, buddy. Thank you. It's funny, I went. To go to the factory area by default um and then didn't um really explore this area very well that's all right we'll get that treasure chest well present we'll see what's in there now seems to be missing a lot doesn't he he's got a decent bat it's not like he has the casey bat or anything okay well <laughs> missed once didn't <laughs> made up for lost time in that one holy crap all right good who's getting another level we like XP. Ugh, probably another fucking Octobot. Damn it. Yeah, alright. This time we're probably gonna have to fight them. It's a lot harder to run away from them outside of surprise attacks. So fine. Let's do this. Boy, we're gonna take a lot of damage to that fucking thing when it... Good, yeah, do it to the robot, not the Starman. Ah, uh, that's why I'm ta taking so little, doing so little damage to it. It decided to guard. Come on. There we go. We got the star man. That's a lot of damage. I'm not a fan of these atomic power robots. Granted, by the time you actually press the buttons enough, they only do like 30 points of damage to you guys. But playing Castlevania revamped really fucking good. Nice. Yeah, the A button on this is still a little sticky, but nothing completely crazy. Not like the X button on the previous controller that went down and never came back up. Let's just run away from this thing. Yeah, it's a lot harder when it's not a surprise attack. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. But reimagined it was a Metroidvania, leaning more towards Metroid side of things. Sweet. So. Life up a little bit. Okay. Arr. Life up a little bit. Killing enemies does not give you XP. There's no leveling system, so you have to find upgrades. Yeah, that's... That's Metroid, right? Sucks that Symphony of Night is not on Steam. Alright, well, that Cup of Life Noodles was worth that. It actually was worth the hassle. Alright, where's the Starman? So, come on, buddy. Come on, you want to teleport? Bastard. And no HP either. You just start with four ticks of health and that's it. Oh my god. HP max upgrades just give you one tick more. Oh my goodness. Well, I see they stick with the... <laughs> with the feel of that game being hard as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. And that's missing again, man. He's not homesick, is he? I think it's just bad RNG. Because he's not saying anything about missing home or anything. Just missing a lot. Let's see. 
Yeah, he's not homesick. Not sure why he's missing so much. It's a little annoying. Yeah, even when the Starman is up there, it could still teleport and bridge that gap into the main room. His friend, on the other hand, is a little different. Can't do that, but yeah. Controls are better, so you control your jump midair and stuff. That is nice. I do prefer better controls. So now in this area, we can find Starman Super. And Starman Super is the one with the Sword of Kings. Granted, only one of 128 chance for it, but... Yeah, we'll do the Heavy Bazooka, because the Heavy Bazooka does more damage than his stupid Ray. Come on, there we go! Alright, game. Now, if you want to just give us the Sword of Kings, that'd be really cool. No? Not on the first try, huh? <laughs> yeah. Couldn't hurt the... Broken harmonica. Okay, well, we need to give that to Jeff. Let's see. The Rust Promoter. Oh, I could use the Rust Promoter Deluxe on that stupid atomic robot. Bastard. We'll give the Eraser Eraser to Boo here. Give the Kuroko harmonica. Give Jeff. <laughs> if that happened, I would have flipped the entire internet and said, <laughs> just the table, right? <laughs> For all the bullshit most people have to go through. And I would just get it, like, right off the bat. That would be hilarious. I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice if we get this, the Sword of Kings here. Yeah, just shoot. We're gonna get it anyway. Yeah, when I got it, it was my fourth or fifth Starman, right? I would say every time I've tried to get it, it takes a couple of hours. Just takes a while. It's because it's so unlikely to get all the time. Nice, Paula. That's all right. I don't like that Ness is missing so much, though. <laughs> Flips Freak Pod's table. <laughs> But again, my concern was I didn't want to be overleveled for the entire rest of the game. Now, I suppose what I could have done was go in here, farm for a little bit, and if I don't get it, just leave, not save, and come back and just keep doing that. But that sounded like it would be really annoying. <laughs> but the only thing worse than farming all that is then not even getting the XP for wasting your time. Uh, fine, fine. Would be nice if they gave it to us, though. But it's, it's very unlikely. It's all, all of 1 in 128 chance. Come on. Teleport bastard. Nope, the other one's coming, but it's not going to get here fast enough. Fucker. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's kill the Starman Super here. And then I'll use the Rust Promoter Deluxe on the Atomic Boat Robot. Right, so we got you. Yeah, we may as well use that. Fuck it. There we go. All right, man. Getting some good levels here, though. Wow, we almost got ambushed instead of doing the ambushing. Yeah. 
it's on a different row, so using heavy bazooka doesn't really make make that much of a difference up there. We'll go after Starman Super here. I love the Starmen. It's such an innovative enemy design. They do a lot of damage, though. Not liking Ness missing so much. I'm hoping he gets it out of his system early. Yeah, we knew you were on guard from how little damage I was doing. Which suits me just fine when they're on guard. Wow, offense went up by four. Holy shit. Yeah, we are definitely... That's fine. Actually... Give that to him. There we go. Oh, we didn't get the attack. Oh well. That's alright. I'll see most of you guys after the ad break. We're just gonna fight Starmen here. Not doing anything all that elaborate. Assuming it's running. I assume it's running. It doesn't tell me it's running, but I think it's running. There it is, okay. Yeah, it is. Of course, anybody watching on YouTube is just like, ads. <laughs> see, I stream on Twitch. And now it's uh, to the point where now I'm an affiliate. We get uh, these. I don't think I want to go through here yet. Yeah, this is the exit mouse area. We have an exit mouse, right? Yep, we already have an exit mouse. We don't need an exit mouse, right? And then there's this area. I'm inclined to fight more Starman Supers, though. Just a little bit, just to see. But I'd like to get that present if I can. I don't know what it is. Well, let's go get it. Oh my god, this sale uh, looks awful. <laughs> oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay. I think they're all vulnerable to fire. And we'll hit the middle. And let's not fuck around. Starstorm these assholes. Whatever. Her inability to move won't change anything. That was perfect. Didn't do a whole lot of damage to the Octobot, but then, uh... Or the Atomic Robot, but managed to hold up the others. Do damage to the other things. Which is what I really want. I want to kill, kill these military Octobots first. There we go. That should finish. Perfect. We got it. Whatever. The problem is, anytime it ever does that, it's got it goes back to full health. So if you're in a battle with something else, and yeah, that stupid atomic co-op bot, um, replenishing fuel supplies left and right. Oh my god, it can make a battle just go on and on and on and on. Well, let's see what this thing. Okay, well, Jeff, we want him with the broken trumpet. I don't think there's anything else particularly interesting here. But let's see. Since we're here anyway, there aren't that many. There will be Starman Supers in this area, but there are so many other things, it's usually not worth farming Starman Super here. Although we got two of them. That's nice. Fuck it. Fire! You uh, guys want to give me the Sword of Kings? That'd be cool. Oh, I need to level up. Uh, fuck, right. They've got Psychic Shields. And I just killed Paula. Yep. Yep. That was stupid. That's alright. I would have killed her anyway. <sighs> nice job, Seraph. Dumb shit. Oh, my God. 
I would much rather use that during a boss battle. Not for my own stupidity, but <laughs> here we are. Once we get healing Omega, then we can, we don't have to worry as much. Perfect. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, fine. You can also spy on him, and if it has the Sword of Kings, Jeff will tell you it has the Sword of Kings. Or if they have any present whatsoever. Which is kind of neat. We're still going to kill this guy. Fuck this asshole. If we have to fight them, we're at least getting the XP for it. Yep. But now Ness... Oh. You can see how this atomic robot can be really annoying when there are other enemies there and you haven't killed the other enemies. There we go. And of course, it always explodes. Always. All right, well. I don't remember what the difference is between the diamond band or the pixie's bracelet, but sure. All right, and at this point, if we continue on, yeah, that's the boss room. <sighs> let's farm, let's, let's just do one quick sweep, try and get the Sword of Kings. We're not going to go completely crazy with that, but yeah, that was the boss room right there. The Stonehenge base isn't particularly big. That's the nice part. This is by far the... God damn it. That's the only problem with the teleport. Is sometimes they'll just get you. Well, that's brutal. Yeah, sure. Replenish a fuel supply in this round. Okay, you know what? As far as things go, that's not terrible. Bash. Maybe bazooka time. Yeah, we'll just bash. We'll get through these guys. Man. Well, at least they're missing. Do some damage. All in all. There we go. Ah. Heavy bazooka. And B is full health full health. Shit. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll eventually get this guy. Man. Beams. There we go. That finally takes care of Starman Super B. Yeah, let's do this. Probably not killing it because Ness missed. Problem is we need Ness's heavy hitting ability in order to kill it. Here's that shit again. I mean, I could use freeze if this doesn't work. Okay, yeah, it's time to freeze. Although, Ness and Jeff got to shoot there. So depending on how this goes, this might be advantageous for us turn-wise. There we go, we got it. No, is this worth the trouble?
No. Probably not worth the try. Oh, god damn it. There's two more of them. Ugh. Because that other monster there. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Thankfully, the Starman teleported. It's unfortunate these atomic power robots are in such abundant supply down here. But equally unfortunate is we're not getting the auto kills. Yeah, we're not gonna do it all that much. We'll do it a little, but we're not gonna go crazy over it. It, it can be very hard to get. Very hard to get. But the Sword of Kings is a game changer for how Pooh actually functions as a teammate. I mean, Bash is actually a valid choice with uh, with Pooh, whereas without it, he's, you know, as uh, Deep Price mentioned, he's kind of like a... Damn it. He's like a decent healer. Yeah, he stops being shitty. Absolutely. It's really three, three and a half characters. <laughs> I mean, when he has enough Psy points for Starstorm, then he's decent, but he doesn't exactly have that many uh, Psy points. It's definitely worth it if you can get it, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to be spending hours farming for the Sword of Kings. It's not... Uh, it's just not worth it. But we could certainly use a little bit of XP to level up a little bit before we deal with the boss of this area. Oh, don't teleport back there. Come on. You little bastard. Gotcha anyway. <laughs> Fine. There are so many 1 out of 28 items in this game. There's the magic fry pan, which I've never bothered to try to even farm for because farming the dinosaurs is even harder than used to heavy guts, sudden guts fill. That's pretty crazy. But you can also buy the holy fry pan in the same area, which is her ultimate weapon. So it's like, why are you going to chase the 128 weapon when you could buy the ultimate weapon in the same exact area? So that never made a whole lot of sense to me. Really don't want to... F oh, you fuckers. I didn't want to fight these things with the atomic bo bot. God damn it. Find spy on it just to see if it's there. <sighs> Pain in the ass. And the mirror ability sometimes is decent. All right, this thing doesn't have it. Let's just run away. Damn it. It's not worth... This isn't worth the effort now. Good. Mostly because I didn't want to deal with the atomic power robot. Ah. Fucking thing. Oh, good. It's not even a Starman Super. We can just run away from it. That should be a Starman Super now over here. Come on. Give it to us. No auto win. Damn. The auto win really helps with farming for it, though. Because if you're auto winning, you're not spending this time fighting them all. Hey, say a Paul Star, how are you? We're briefly trying to get the Sword of Kings here. I don't think we're going to, but it can't hurt to try real quick. <sighs> Fucking robots, man. <laughs> Boy, thank you, I appreciate it. I'll spy on it real quick, and 
Mirror Starman Super, sure. Oh yeah, that is good. That is a good, yeah. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have a Sword of Kings. Um, yeah, the fast forward is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, let's just run away from this shit. They don't have the Sword of Kings. There's no point in fighting that fight. Thank goodness for Jeff's spy ability. Because that does make it a much better decision of like, all right, do I stick around or not? I did not realize Paula was down that far. Let's life up Paula. <laughs> yeah, Minofin is awesome, man. It was definitely uh, interesting getting up and running. But what a great emulator that is. Such not only fixed the control issue I was having with Kronos, but it's also looking better too thanks to the goat filter. You know, I should really play around with the filters. I keep saying I'm going to do that. Come on. They have a present. They have a present. Damn it. <laughs> so is it actually called the goat filter? Or are you just calling it the goat filter? So I'm trying to remember if there is a goat filter per se. Got that CRT look, makes Shining Force portraits look like they're supposed to. Oh, nice. I fucking love Shining Force, man. What a great game. And pretty much if, um... If these guys don't, we're just, um... We're just gonna head back and then and then beat this. I wonder if he's just not capable of turning into these things. Oh my god, never mind, we're leaving Stonehenge and we're coming back. Fucking Ness, man. Alright. Neutralizer. So the neutralizer will take down the uh, Psy Shield. And now we could use Psy Attacks. Oh, well, Ness hit that time. Okay, perfect. Never mind. I didn't need to go completely gung ho like I was about to. But we're definitely leaving now. Oh, it is. It is a. Uh, okay. Shader, open jail, shader, goat, huh? I'll take a look. Hell, I might even take a look at that right now when we go back and save the game. I still managed to go up a level. That was nice. All right. Well, since Ness fucking depressed, let's use the exit mouse. Yep, we got to get out. <laughs> oh fuck. We gotta fight the Mighty Bear 7. We were gonna get ambushed if we tried to avoid it. I don't think you're gonna do it anyway. I think you're gonna run into trouble. But we don't need to... We don't need to hold back. Fuck these guys. <laughs> We just need to get... Oh my god, now they do minimum damage. Wow. They can just shout at you and lower your offensive defense. <laughs> that gets rid of the bear. And I will fuck up these cavemen. That should do caveman. Boy A. And it might even kill... Yep, perfect. Good. Yep, not even holding back. No point. No reason to do that now. Meanwhile, this dipshit's just hanging out here. 
I don't think Escargo Express can reach us here. But boy, it'd be nice if they can. Oh, Ness, what's wrong? You sound so sad. You homesick? Well, I knew there'd be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. Feel any better? I better get going in the middle of my ironing. Bye. There we go. Uh, actually, let's clean up. Let's... Yeah, do a pickup. Don't know if they can get here or not, but it would be really nice if they can. I know they can't reach you out in the desert. But it would be pretty cool if they could reach us out here. Come on, Escargo Express. Please, 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 please. Good. Yeah, I think we could cover that bill. Okay. Lucky coin. We'll sell it later, but for now, we don't need the pencil eraser anymore. Take care of that diamond band, too. Yep, we'll sell them later. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait. Right. Right. So service. It doesn't do that. It heals you and everything. It's fucking awesome. Okay. Now we... That. Wow, yeah. We've got a lot of money in the bank now. Yeah, let's... Let's try that filter. Let's try that filter really fast. Okay. So it is in, let's see, systems. It's in systems. Let's see. Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo. There it is. All right. Graphics. Shaders. Oh, I didn't even mess with these. I was just doing these video scalers. All right. So I'm using Super 2 XSAI as a video scaler. So open shield J oh, you know what? I should have been using the open GL shader. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna use GOAT. Enable scan lines effect. Let's see, do I want to use the scan lines effect? Or just leave all these defaults, uh assuming you're still here, Dark Star. Because there's GOATron, Borg, Slenderman, whatever the fuck those are. I'm guessing GOATron. Uh, brightest mask pattern. All right, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Enable scan lines effect. All right, let's, uh, let's go with that. Earthbound, let's relaunch. Let's relaunch that and see. Oh, leave the rest alone. I have scan lines off and force interlaced on. Oh, I didn't check it. Let's check that real fast. Force interlaced on. Force interlaced video will be treated as progressive, is what it's called. Um, you know, let's, all right, so let's do, let's leave the scan lines off. Of course, I had it covered over where it decided to do that, and then, come on, buddy. You had a nice little, yeah, thank you. There we go. When disabled, the default video setting is effectively ignored with respect to what appears on screen. When enabled, it may be prudent to disable the scan lines effect controlled by... Oh, okay, well, that... Or a scan line effect may... Okay. Force interlace to be treated as progressive. All right, so let's try that. Boom, boom, boom. Let's take a look. Let's see how this looks. Oh, wow. Yeah, much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, much better. I mean, you still get a little bit of some of the effects, but uh, yeah, that definitely looks a little bit better. That definitely looks like what it used to on our screens growing up.
All right, let's try this again. Yeah, this is what that, that is what the game is supposed to look like. All right, so now we're gonna get we're just gonna get through this. Let's rescue our friends. Ugh, okay, fine. Let's fight this asshole. Man, it looks uh, like it looks pretty weird now the way that it actually looks like the way it's supposed to look. I got so used to uh, it looking bizarre. Or, um, not bizarre, but I got used to the high definition look. <laughs> and it's funny, there are a bunch of games where a lot of the programmers took advantage of the shitty ability of CRTs to, um, create almost new colors by putting different colored pixels next to each other and letting the way that the um, screens blended colors to essentially expand the damn it to expand the color palette that'll teach me to play games with this it's trying to avoid it entirely damn it damn it damn it damn it I didn't even want to fight this thing ugh fine Nice job, Paula. Yeah, Ness is just missing left and right, man. Well, at least the fire pendant's helping Jeff out. Now we should do it for the Mook Senior. More annoying than anything else. Right, well, now we can go this way. Oh, Jesus Christ. A million fucking of these things out here. That's the only danger when you try to play games with scrolling them off. If they just catch you just right, oh boy, is it over. takes care of one of them at least. Okay. At least we managed to get rid of them before they attacked us again. Now those Mook Seniors can be uh, kind of a problem. A lot of times they're a cakewalk, but boy, um, you get them on a bad day, who oh boy. I think it really messed you up. Yeah, and that... I have had that Starman make that warp before. <laughs> they they can make that jump. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is probably an atomic bot. Nope, it's a Mook Senior. Ugh. Ness, you can't be missing, man. There we go. That cost Jeff 30 HP by missing, dude. I'm not liking how much Ness is missing lately to start off this episode. Not a great omen. <laughs> okay. Meh. Oh, well, that's going to kill whoever hits it. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's not going to kill Ness. It's just going to do a shit ton of damage. <laughs> and thanks to us killing it, only a fraction of damage. All right. Well, we'll take that offense boost. 
The more his offense goes up, the less I need to do uh, the bazooka. Wow. And despite all of that offense he went up by, he will still suck if I bash. Oh my god, look at all those fucking things. Now there's a magic butterfly. We need that. Hey, come back here. Take that magic butterfly. Woohoo! Come on, Starman. Warp. Ah, oh, really? We couldn't even get enough surprise attack on that? Shit. Alright, that's actually better damage than Paul is doing. Although, not by much. But still, technically, who now out damages Paula? Kind of impressive. Well, we didn't have to deal with that swarm of swirling enemies there. Sweet. Okay, good. Yeah. Let's do that. And maybe, ah, there we go. We're finally getting auto wins here. Oh, fuck this thing. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Let's avoid this. <sighs> I need to heal Paula, too. Uh, should get him. Yep, we do. Man. Auto-winning battles speed things up so much. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna have to deal it anyway. We should be able to run away from them. So much easier to run away in that first battle. I got to imagine the game programmed that deliberately so that if you surprise them and run, it's just an auto. It's an auto succeed at that point. Okay. Now then. Come on, Starman. Thank you. Ah! We really didn't get the jump on this guy? Fuck. Fine. Let's just do it. Let's see if you can mirror the atomic bot. Nope. Of course not. Perfect. Good. Yes. Yeah, don't replenish the Starmans. Please don't. <laughs> Suka and Bash. Take that. Yeah, whatever. Hey, cat! That's meowing downstairs. I may have to go down and see what she needs. She's probably asking for more food, despite the fact that she's got plenty of food in her bowl. Let's just do this. Yeah, yeah, do your damage to me. Give me two seconds, folks. Let me... Oh, damn it. I just like to start it again. Um, well, we got to do that anyway, all over again anyway. At least we just saved it. Oh my God, thank God we just saved it. All right, let me see what my cat needs. And at least we didn't lose a lot of progress. Yes, I know, cat. I love you. Give me two seconds, everybody. Nice job.
just gotten back into that old area too. Okay, let's try this again. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that. Oh, my goofy cat. My goofy cat. Okay, let's try that again. And of course, I immediately hit escape thinking it would pull up the menu. Nope, just exits the, the, the emulator. No, no confirmation, nothing. Instant exit. <sighs> Once again, sabotaged by my feline co-host. <laughs> <coughs> I meant to just go into this. Go into the menu. That's what I meant to do. Uh... I just wanted to pause it. Come on, cat. Come on. You want a pet? Yeah, you had food, you had a treat. Now you want some pet? Come on. Come on. Hello, kitty kitty. Hi. Okay. Hello. I know. Love you too. Okay, yes, I know. Oh, I did not go through the door properly. There it goes. Now we went through the door properly. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Kitty, kitty. Senior. Nothing like having to redo work because of a cat. Ah, of course, my own fault for hitting the wrong button. Yes, I know, cat. We love you. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're more popular on my own stream than I am. Yeah. Hey, cat. No, don't leave. Okay. <laughs> I guess her attitude was I wasn't getting she wasn't getting petted enough with her hand with my hand. Oh, come on. Thank you. At least I didn't get the ambush there. <clears throat> yes, petting her with my foot wasn't enough. Of course, I think I know what she wanted. So, um, before starting stream, I fed her dinner, you know, her wet food, and now it's getting somewhat close to her normal feeding time, and she's asking for more food. And it's like, no, 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 you, you were fed, cat. <laughs> you, 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 you got dinner already. <laughs> you don't get dinner twice. Typical, though. Always trying to get away with something. Thank you. All right, that was... We're doing that now. Hopefully we have some better luck getting through it this time. Because we had some shitty luck the first time around. Good, we got that past that thing entirely. Making good good progress this time. There we go. Actually, we got through that much better. Of course, we still aren't out of the woods yet, but... We're using far less Psi points than we did the first time. He's around somewhere. Ah, they're all up there. I love how you just by the um, processor slowdown, you can see exactly where they were. Saw the notification of stream earlier, but was like, ah, hey, Ghosty, welcome. Uh, we just farmed for the Sword of Kings a little bit. Didn't, weren't successful at it. And then, uh, damn. Uh, and now we're going back in. My cat wanted something, and I went to hit the menu item, but instead of hitting the A button on the controller, I hit the escape button on the keyboard. So, yeah, we have to redo this now, because Seraph's an idiot. <laughs> That's all right. I thought it was going to teleport over. Yeah, we may as well just bash these guys. How's your weekend going, Ghosty? Renee is defeated. Oh, no, don't do all that magnet stuff. Boo. Now it's guarding, which suits me just fine. Still just beat it. Boom.
It looks like a similar. Yep. Okay, good. Good. All right, perfect. Now we're back to where we're going here. That's going. I think I'm done leaving the house so much better. <laughs> Come on, Starman. We can get this damn thing to... There we go. Perfect. I was going to say, if we could get it to warp, we could ambush the Starman, and then we'll get the Moog Senior. Because it was harder to do that than to ambush this guy. No, fire. Fire for you. Have a bazooka the Moog Senior. Bash time. I still got to leave to get dinner in an hour. Ah. Let me guess. Public special? I may do that tonight. I may just go and get public a public sub. Holy shit. That's certainly hit this time. Ah, Greek food. I was never a fan of Greek food. Frank loved it. He always wanted to do Greek food when we played D&D. &D. Oh, I thank you, uh, Ghosty, for gifting Freak Bot a sub. I do appreciate it. Good stuff. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to get better emotes. I actually was looking for uh, some graphic designers, like good ones. Uh, it turns out all the graphic designers that uh, I think kind of hit me up on Twitter, they all look like all bots of the same graphic designer. So I'm not sure if any of them are even legitimate. <laughs> but I'm definitely in the market for a good graphic designer. Yeah, r bots are running rampant on the bird app right now. They they really are. It's a shame. Ugh, that's a probably a move. But we'll deal with it. I got a ton of followers in the last week, and they're all bots. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think I have like four or five human followers on tw on uh, Twitter, and I think all of the rest of them are are bots. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's it's legitimately hilarious. <laughs> yep, I, 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 I suspect the same thing. Because yeah, every so often, my follower count will go down and I'll look around and be like, ah, that was, it was Twitch nuking another bot. That was, that's been my hypothesis for a while. My bots have bots. <laughs> now, granted, one of my mods technically is a bot, but it's not a follower, a uh, resplendent bot. That's just a an alt account I made so that um so that I could have a bot on my channel. Twitch allows that. That's a legitimate use. Come on. There we go. We got it. We want to bash Starman Super as quickly as possible. Let's take out this fucker. Yeah, we're just going to make our way through the Stonehenge base now, and we're going to deal with all this shit. We're going to rescue our friends and then move on. Actually, I think that means I need to go down. So I think the upper area just has a present at the end. Picked our... Wow, that was a pretty good level. I don't think I want to actually go... Uh... Do this. Damn it, Ness. Oh, now it's guarding. Good. Let it waste a turn guarding. Wow, Ness has just missed, 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 missed. Okay, that suits us just fine. We still managed to get it. All it did was make it take a little extra long time. Make make it take it a little extra time. Thought I could get to the fucking ladder first. Fucking atomic power robot. I hate this thing. Okay, just get away from that. Fine. Excellent. Up, oh, normal Starman. 
I feel like there should be some sort of difference between the Starman and the Starman Super, but I've never noticed an actual difference between them. But I feel like there should be. I just don't think I've ever figured it out. Bazooka time. And bash. But the levels we gained already have made this worth it, even if we don't get the Sword of Kings. That's why I didn't want to spend all that much time with it, although I think we've already spent more time on this than I intended to. Of course, we got sabotaged by Ness getting homesick, and then we got sabotaged by my cat. <laughs> oh, when I saw Pooh's level, I went, oh! <gasps> <laughs> yeah, let's ambush this thing. Ah, oh, we didn't even get the damn. I mean, we could still run away. Sure, replenish the fuel supply. Run away. Good. Yep, you keep replenishing the fuel supplies while I keep trying to run away from you. There we go. Got it. Yeah, right? The real Sword of Kings were the levels we gained along the way. <laughs> we still managed to get it, though. Seriously, fuck that sword. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, it is, it is a little ridiculous that they made it 1 out of 128. They could have made it 1 out of 64, and I, and I think they would have, it, it still would have been sufficiently rare that it would have taken some work to get it, but it wouldn't have been as ridiculous. Same with the other 1 out of 28 weapons. I'm not sure what they were thinking, because I can honestly say, except for the Sword of Kings, which I have spent the time to get, I don't think I've ever even gotten any of the other one, one out of 128 weapons. I've never gotten the Magic Fry Pan, never gotten the Gutsy Bat, never gotten, uh, you know, some of these other items that are out there. I know there are, there, I know that's not the only ones. There are other ones. <laughs> that's the best part. <laughs> they weren't. Yeah, yeah. There we go, we got this. It's actually hoping it would freeze it, but oh well. Yeah, yeah. It's not really mortal damage. You're just dealing a light amount of aggravating damage. Offense went up by five. Holy fuck. Damn. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, let's life up Paula. Yeah, we're okay. Paula's HP are still so freaking... Pitiful. Yes, we'll take another exit mouse. Thank goodness for the exit mice here. So if you get through all this, you can just... Yep. So if you have to fight all that way in, you don't have to fight all the way out. <clears throat> you just have to get to the exit mouse room, and then you're free. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Damn, I was really, I was kind of going for the uh, surprise attack there. <sighs> and because there's a Starman Super here, we've kind of got to do it. Fuck it. I mean, I could spy on it, but... 
It's easier just to go through it and just fight it, get the XP. That should kill it for a minimal side point cost. Motherfucker! Motherfucker, I hate when they do that! <laughs> what a fucking troll job. What a fucking troll job. Like, at that point, don't even give me a fucking... You know what? Fucking use the super bomb here. <laughs> Here's your fucking super bomb, you asshole! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd rather not get anything if you're not gonna give me the fucking Sword of Kings, you piece of shit. Regift that shit, right? Yeah, here you go. Regift this. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible, man. Speed went up by one. I actually missed the speed capsule the first time. <sighs> Fine. It's just gonna ambush us on the way out. So we may as well just do it. Oh Jesus Christ. So here, great. We have one, we have two out of 128 chance of getting the Sword of Kings this time. Ooh. And unlike the other areas of the game, once we beat the boss of this area, these guys stop spawning. So we will never have another chance at it. Whereas at least in the other areas, you can kind of go back to them and retry. Yeah, you keep doing that. Although that's bad because if I kill this fucking super Starman Super A and it does that, it'll bring it back. That would be terrible. Keep doing more damage to Starman Super A and B while the atomic- Oh fuck! The atomic robot wasn't healing itself. Shit, I thought the atomic robot was healing itself. Well, that's bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, and Poop got hurt in class. Fuck. God damn it. I hate those atomic robots so much. I thought it was lifing itself up each time. Alright. Please tell me I've got... Problem is a secret herb won't bring him back. Alright, well we got two cups of life noodles. Good. We'll use one of them on Boo here. That's lame. That is what it is. Okay. And we'll life up Paula. Alright. That's it for this. Oh no, can't see anything. Jeff, bloop. Where is Jeff? So we mentioned uh, that Tony was missing. K.O. can breathe. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> can't breathe. Apple kid. Next room. And this guy. <laughs> Alright. And now a fucking awesome star man here. Let's do this shit. You're much stronger than our intelligence indicated. We were not mm, prepared for that eventuality. The prophecy from the Apple of Enlightenment may be true, but you must not mm, underestimate us. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're gonna bash you first. Neutralizer. Because I'm pretty sure it's got a psychic shield up. 
Yep. Perfect. Now we could use cool shit on it, but we're just gonna bash with you. But you actually take a look at some of these. No. Yeah, use that Pharaoh's Curse thing. You can use the big bottle rocket. Who want to heal? Let's do life up B on Who here. We'll take that. There we go. Nice damage there. Well, it'll take continue to take damage now for the rest of the battle. <laughs> Freeze time. And I think we'll perma primarily just use the bazooka now. Yeah, I think we're just gonna life up you again. Who will be a healer for this battle? We'll continue pouring on the damage here. Up, and it brought another sh psychic shield up. So if I use uh, psychic attack, it's going to reflect and hit me instead. But not a big deal. Because I can just use the neutralizer to bring that shit down. Yeah, we'll just have you bashed. It's not all that much, but 80 hit points between the two of them is 80 hit points. <laughs> oh. There we go. But we, if, if it's bringing up its psychic shield, it's not attacking me. So I'm totally, I was totally content to just have Jeff continuously bring down that shield and basically waste its turns. So we just gained 40,000 XP. Jeff just gained a level, and Pooh just gained a level. Nice. All right. So three out of four people. There we go. And we just like that, we have now shut down the Stonehenge base. <laughs> oh, he gave us the Roman. Oh, we got the Saturn Ribbon. Give you to Paula. Hell yeah, that's a big upgrade. We will take that. I was scared, but I knew it would be saved by courageously just sat here and waited long enough. So I thought, began to lose hope. Glad you saved me after all. Apple Kid. I expected it to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to Mr. meet Mr. Sandard. I also got to meet Dr. Andonuts. See you. What? You're looking for the book Overcoming Shyness? I returned it to the Onet Library. Please use the book to help the Shy Tenda tribe. Anyway, because I knew you, uh, I had an incredible experience. Wow. I was kidnapped by some of Gigas' toadies. Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the phase distorter as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. We've got important things to do. I was kidnapped while looking at a cow on my farm. I didn't think they'd get a ransom by kidnapping little old me. Jeff, Jeff, buddy. Oh, me? Oh, my. You came to rescue me, pal. Oh, Ness? I'm Tony. I'm Jeff's best friend. I've known him for the longest time. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I will live. Live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all of you've done. Right, so at this point, we're going to use the exit. Oops rather than work our way completely out. Damn it. I hate these bears. Alright. Here. Heal up. Now we'll definitely save, and we'll get the hell out of here. Let's 
because it would suck to hit the wrong button and close the emulator again and lose all that progress. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? Alright, so I think if I'm here... Now we can get the book from here. Good old library. This place is a little different. So I think we can go to the burger shop. No, no, not yet. Okay. I was looking for something there, but it's not there yet. This is okay. Stupid bird. Like, we really need a cookie. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. My god. That seemed like such a far, far distance in the future for when I was playing this game. My god. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you wake up with full. <laughs> yeah, just giving you clues on how to play the game. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember where it was. There it is. Now we've got the shyness book. Now we get the hell out of here. It's overdue by 23 years now. <laughs> Don't want those late fees. <laughs> God, can you imagine what those late fees must look like at this point? Holy smokes. Nope. Well, we weren't getting anywhere anyway, thanks to this douchebag. Why were you in the street, buddy? I didn't want to go to Foresight anyway. I wanted to go to Deep Darkness. Actually, I want to go to the Tenda Village. Down payment on a car at the bare minimum! <laughs> now yeah, we just find our Tenda Chief. Alright, somewhere. The Tenda Chief is the one with the horns. There you are. Book! Can fix sinus! Thanks! Relax. I read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. And the leader of the Tenda tribe read the Shyness book to everybody. Cha cha, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some Tenda kraut in return. Tenda kraut is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Ness lends the leader of the Tenda tribe the book overcoming Shyness. Convenient since we don't need that book anymore. Ah, yes. It had been too long since we've had a Fuzzy Pickles moment. <laughs> hey you, I have a happy little question for you. Seraph, Seraph, are you sure this is the correct player's name? It's not right, you can change it. This gives you the opportunity to change your actual player name. Yes, I'm 
really absolutely certain. <laughs> uh, but now we can talk to these guys and we actually get dialogue now. Since we overcame our shyness, I'll give you a bag of Dragonite. Take it. It's got the bag of Dragonite. It's going to be useful in a bit. Yeah, so let's have some tea. And we'll have another one of these little coffee break type things. Well, the first one was a coffee break. This one's a tea break. Tea time. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Like a great tapestry, vertical and horizontal threads have met and become intertwined, creating a huge, beautiful image. You may have cursed this never-ending journey. <laughs> you have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled on to reach this place. Your inborn intelligence and courage have helped bring you here. Earthbound needs to quit giving beverages like to the LSD to children. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. Have you ever stopped to consider how much your power has grown? Now you could fell enemies in Onet and Tucson with one blow. And you certainly know you cannot turn back. Gigas, the arch fiend of the universe, is growing frightened of you and your power. He is searching for ways to end your journey. I love the music for these sections. From here, the challenge grows and your adventure will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are drawing near to Gigas. Remember when you were suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. Yeah, we're... Think about that. How many minions and like the huge swath of armies he has and we've just mowed them down. By the way, do you know where Pokey went? When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We haven't forgotten about that prick pokey. Oh, we're going to take that guy down. And now it says everybody. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. I wish you luck. It's good, like, little chillaxing moment. But at this point, we're entering the last, I would say, fifth of the game. Hell of a cup of coffee. And if we ever talk to this guy, he gives us tea again. So you can always see that again. I'm a woman. Did you think I was a man? Oh, how are you today? Are you not feeling well? Be healthy. All right, and that's the inn. We don't need the inn. Now we can do that. I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life. I give you something right. Oh, right. He only does the fucking Horn of Life, and that's all he'll take. But of course, I can't take anything. Yeah, I don't think I've got a Horn of Life. I'm going to need to go get that. But I saw two items in there that would be pretty good. All right. All right. So we need to get the hell out of here. I don't think we can teleport from in here. I think we have to go outside to teleport. We definitely want the Horn of Life. We need at least two Horns of Life. Uh... Ah, oh, fucking things. I think I can do it from here. I think I could teleport from here. Can we? Can we? Yep, we got it. Perfect. Okay, I need... Things I could sell. Yeah, diamond band. That's it. Perfect. We'll get those back. Sure. 
eat a fucking cookie, dude. Knock yourself out. I think he can reach us here. Good. I wonder why Escargo Express can't deliver to the fucking desert. Either way, we'll sell those now. We'll buy a couple of horns of life. Actually, we could probably get a couple of horns of life anyway. ATM time. Wait. Right. Thank you. I can't... Shit, I can't carry that... I can't carry any more money than that. Can I? No, I can. It's just... Oh, you're not allowed to carry more than that. Okay, fine. Hope that means that it didn't cut me off, but whatever. Wait, does that mean... Uh... So if I sell that, it's not going to matter. Fine. Don't want to waste that money. <laughs> Sell the diamond band. That's a lot of money that we just got back. Don't want that. Sell. Sell the lucky coin. Jeez. Now, let's go back over here. We'll deposit that. <laughs> ah, I didn't want to do that. Yes, stealth. Thank you. Oof. Yeah, sell the talisman ribbon. Let's get some of this money back. What else can we sell? I don't think we can sell many of these things. Can't. Well, I don't want to sell the tender kraut. We're gonna need that. Bag of dragonite's good to have for a little while. Don't see anything on there that I would really want to sell? I think all of that we're gonna want. Oh yeah, I need to store the eraser. Eraser. It's good for him to keep the couple life noodles. So I'd rather just sell that. I'm not going to use it. Anything else that Pooh has that I want to sell? Sure. That was pretty useless. And now, let's go to you. It's fine. Horn of Life. Who will carry this burden? It's definitely worth the trouble. Okay, that should be good. Actually, maybe I'll store a lot of that money. Just in case. If I lose, at this point, if I lose that, even half that, is that really a hardship at this point? <laughs> so now I just need to figure out how I'm teleporting out of here. It's this area, it's a 
little tight. That fucking Mr. Saturn there is going to be annoying. So we could go up here. that way. Might be a little hard, but I think we could do it. I think we can make this work. Yep, we're good. The nice part about the Horn of Life Talk to these file. Hi, smile. Welcome. This far. Take a rest. Long journey must have been. Great, they all talk in Yodish. Revives a friend who's unconscious. In addition, also works well on poison, nausea, cold, sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying, and feeling strange. This is effective when you have paralysis or you've been diamondized. So basically, it heals everything. <laughs> Now we can go to this guy. Okay. Ah. It's not what I wanted. Damn it. Why are you not giving me the choice? Oh my god, do I have to go through all of them? Oh, I have to go through all of them. You son of a bitch. This motherfucking Tenda. Oh my god. It won't let me select it. Yeah. You have to just give him all of these to get them. Oh my god, I forgot about that shit. That's such... That's so annoying. Wow. Wow. No, I don't want the fucking clean roll. God damn. Shit. Motherfucker. Oh, it's still worth it. 160 HP. Alright, I may as well keep the plain yogurt. Fucker. No, no, I just... I don't have any more, fucker. I just want to take a look at your stupid list. All right, so we need four. I need four fucking horns of life. One, two, three, four. Okay, good, fine. Teleport back. How tedious. It's still worth it because of, um, because of how valuable those items are, but I forgot you had to deal with that shit. I totally forgot you had to buy all of them. Motherfucker. Alright. Fortunately, we're Mr. Moneybags now. <laughs> yogurt? I hate yogurt, even with strawberries in it. You know, I was having a conversation with somebody. Bartender. Uh, so one of the restaurants close by my university where I work at. So I'm there. I'm getting some food. And we're talking about desserts because they've got a, a particularly decadent, really unhealthy dessert. And I'm like, forget something about it. But but yeah, we were talking about that. And I was like, yogurt, who the hell would make um, a dessert that's healthy? <laughs> it's just funny how that whole conversation was going. But yeah, not not a fan of yogurt. Not a fan of teleporting back and forth for all this tedious bullshit, though, either. But yet, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm just never a fan of yogurt. Which is weird, because both of my parents really like yogurt. And they're also fans of gelato. I don't... I never liked gelato, either. Couldn't, couldn't get into it. Although gelato is a lot better than, um... than yogurt. 
Just had a spaceball quote. Oh, right, right. <laughs> wow, yeah. Oh my God, Spaceballs was such a great movie. Fucking Spaceballs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You suck, Tenda. Yeah, yeah. Sucks that you won't let me choose, but oh well. Now at least we're getting into some good shit. Talisman coin is actually fucking useful. Alright. Now we just have to figure out who's getting what. Give that to who? Now let's just get rid of the stink bag. rid of the plain yogurt. I don't ever use that. I know the snake bag you could use over and over again, but it's it's just not very useful. Hmm. That will give to Paula. That to Ness. Okay, now we're getting this all together here. Okay. Hall of Fame bat, not that much of an upgrade, but we'll take the upgrade. We got a souvenir coin, which is better than the talisman coin. So why did I go through all that bolt? Why did I go through all that trouble for the souvenir coin? For the talisman coin. Better than the lucky coins, maybe? Ugh. At least it's better than the lucky coin. Guess, we'll, guess Jeff gets the upgrade. Uh, ended up not being. You well, know, I see. I think I still think it was worth the effort. But boy, that's um, really pushing it, huh? <laughs> got everything taken care of here. Don't really see anything. We got two broken items. Fine. Let's go to the in room here. Sure, especially since it's free. Let's see if he, uh... Ah, finally got the redo done. <laughs> now you can relax. <laughs> yeah, nothing like having to redo a bunch of stuff you've already done. Man, we did that today on stream, but that wasn't so bad. Recently, everyone's able to talk a lot, so I've lost my identity. <laughs> Powerful eye, so show everyone. I got it. He lifted it so he lifted it so perfectly launched into fucking orbit. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so now we, there's this talking rock. Good evening. I'm a talking rock, but the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth in a ways ahead, in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock. It's important. And yes, yes it is. Shut the fuck up, Rock. <laughs> wow, I don't remember this music. God, I love fighting the foppies. We're just gonna beat the shit out of these things. Although, not even I could have guessed it. Apollo was about to just completely open up a can of whoop-ass on that thing. These things are great XP, and they're pretty useless. We're just gonna pound on these fuckers. So there's, there's a hole. Yeah, yeah. So mostly I'm just looking around for presents here. 
Oh, right. These are the Fobbies rather than the Foppies. The Foppies were earlier. The Fobbies are now here. And they're, they're pretty easy to take down. We've got more. So one of Pooh's items is up in here. That's what I'm looking for at the moment. Most. Let's auto this. This isn't... This isn't going to be difficult at all. Let's auto bash these guys. And thanks to farming for the Sword of Kings a little bit. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Okay. Now in these numbers, they could actually be a problem. They're not going to be, but they could be. And that's the end of that. <laughs> so Paula just basically one shot at all these things. For the most part, except for two. And that's the end of that. And now we're going to get a shit ton of XP. Yeah, 25,000. Jesus. That's half as much as we got for killing the boss of the Stonehenge base for perspective. That's how much XP these things give us in these numbers. Take the luck capsule. Not what I'm looking for yet. I think what I want is in the lower left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the the and I think it's the diadem of kings that's up here. And then the Cloak of Kings is in the Lost Underworld. I vaguely remember the cool treasure chest being in the lower left. Damn, it looked right at me. We almost got a surprise attack on it. It's got like all of oh bastard train 23 points whatever it's over now even with draining 20 points it probably only had like 40 hit points or something ridiculous we're getting some good levels though in this all this whole thing Surprise attack, I'll just use the heavy bazooka. Oh my god. May not even matter. Yep. <laughs> this part's a little easy. But we'll take that compared to what we've just been going through. Okay, so this is a hole. Let's just go through this thing. We'll take the super bomb. I fucking hate these things. These things have, yeah, the uncontrollers fear. So these have a 128 item also. Because, you know, the game didn't have enough of fucking those things. I don't remember if these have a size shield or not. So let's just do freeze alpha to find out. Spy on it. And we'll just bash the rest of it. But I think these also explode when we kill them. Yep, yeah, okay, but it just it doesn't have a power shield. Vulnerable fire, open to hypnosis. Alright, so we need to take the fire we need to take the shield down before we can do anything about it. Psychic lies. I'm probably better off just not using psychic attacks on it. Yep. Mortal damage, mortal damage, we know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's enough of that. All right. And no special thing. The underground talking rock seems to want to talk a lot more than I do. <laughs> but we did get a cool treasure chest present thing. 
Not that guy. Um, I don't think... Yeah, that's the entrance. Is there a way down up there? I don't think so. I think this was just all this. Yeah, there's nothing. No, yep, there is. So let's go for it. Oh, well, at least we worked that out so we only have to deal with one of these little assholes. We killed it before the music even really got started. <laughs> but I love how each of those is worth like 5,000 XP. It's, it's a lot. Let's see if it's uh, down over here. Another fucking rock. Ah, the conducting spirit. <sighs> Spinning robo. I think freeze on the conducting spirit is the way to go here. And we'll go with this route. Get it? Nope, we didn't. I don't remember what that spinning thing actually does. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, it could do a lot of damage. Meanwhile, whenever I do thunder, it does, like, fuck all for damage. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> I gotta tell you, most of the time I do thunder, it just misses. Most of the time. Although I do find it's better against metal enemies. It will hit those at least slightly higher percentage. But not enough to make it usually worth it. My favorite is using Thunder Omega and having it just miss four times. So glad I spent all the side points on that, just to have it not hit. It does just enough to piss you off. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, we're gonna life up Ness. Yeah, let's deal with these guys. All right. And of course, it doesn't hit Paula, who has a Franklin badge. Freeze Gamma. Way to go there. Heavy Bazooka, the fucking Conducting Spirit. Yeah. We're going to take out the Conducting Spirit first. We're not letting it do that shit to us again. Okay, well, now it's really dead. <laughs> cool, we like it when it misses. Yeah, nothing really missed. Worth crying about there when Paula misses. She does so little damage. Like, if anybody's going to miss, let it be Paula. And of course, my characters are all gaining XP left and right. Another conducting menace. Or conducting spirit, sorry. I think we'll still do freeze beta. Yeah, we'll just have bash. So at this point, Paula and Pooh have about the same number of side points now. But I do prefer keeping Pooh in reserve as like a healer. It's really what he's best at. There's a there's a there's an exploit where if you use a condiment, you could just keep using the rock candy over and over and over again. 
But I don't think I have that particular condiment. So we'll just use it. Since inventory space is at an extreme premium. And then it'll freeze. Good. Holy Christ. 577. I think that's our maximum. Uh, I think that's our record amount of damage right now. 577. That's a lot of fucking damage. Okay, that. We're going to give two for sure. I don't think this is the way I want to go. Yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot I could do about that. <laughs> you confront the hyper spinning robo. Ah, uh, sugar and deli sauce. Yeah. I knew if I saw that, I would be like, that's the one I want. But uh, as I was looking through them, I'm like, I don't remember what it was, but I don't have it. <laughs> Wait, you know what? I think I do have deli sauce, don't I? Yeah, I do have a cherry deli sauce. Shit. Shit. I could have done deli sauce because Pooh had that. Damn. Damn. Oh well. I think I got thrown off because I saw a jar of instead of just deli sauce. Fuck. Oh well. If we get another rock candy, we'll abuse it then. <laughs> We just need to find where they sell jars of Della Sauce, which I think is Delam. Honestly, best way to take advantage of the glitch is to dump everything else in storage first. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not going to mess around with that. That's just. That's just too much work. <laughs> And frankly, it's kind of unnecessary to do, like... The, d the game does a- the game is pretty well balanced. Okay, yeah, let's kill this thing quickly. Well, the farming levels you got, yeah, right? I mean, just by the nature of it, too, um, you know, we- oh, god. Okay. Oh, man. Sucks. Alright, so Pooh is paralyzed. Yeah, it's always a little scary. A lot of times Flash does nothing, but sometimes Flash can totally debilitate you. And if, uh, for characters that are weak to Flash, it can kill them outright. Uh, but having not played this game for a while, I knew I'd do a little bit of wandering around. Let's. That will restore Pooh's ability to take care of that. Good. Instant kill? No. God forbid it can give us an instant kill. We'll take it. By the time we get to go again, we'll kill it. There we go. Pooh with the smash. You can say it was constipated. You could! <laughs> Alright, so there's the shining spot. We don't want to get that yet. There we go. I think this is Pooh's item. Rabbit's foot inside. Okay, I don't remember what the rabbit's foot does. Text you from paralysis, huh? No, okay. We'll take that. Flame pendant, night pendant, that's what we want. Night pendant's what's protecting Ness from Flash. So we definitely want to keep that night pendant. Yeah, the rabbits are better than the great charm. It's fine. Is Pooh's item down below, maybe? Ugh. <laughs> All 
right, we have to destroy the hyper-spinning robo first. Yeah, that... Ugh. Because the uncontrollable sphere will explode when we kill it. So let's just manage our side points here. And I think that particular monster there is the Electro Spectre. And he could be difficult. It's going to do a lot of lightning attacks to us. Yep, there it is. Now we can heal and see if there's anything down here that was worth it. I know Pooh's got a uh, item down here that we're going to want. I think it's down here. Pretty sure. In fact, I think that might be it there. Uh, of course, we're going to have to fight a spinning robo, probably. Yep. Yeah. Damn it, I should have done the bazooka. But I was going to bother doing that. Got it before it even went. Works for me. Just the Earth's belly button. Yeah, we're all pretty good here. Maybe it's past the shining spot. Or who knows? Maybe I'm just totally misremembering where this damn thing is. Ugh. Oh, yeah, sure. Yep. No, no, no. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Because Paul is dangerously low on side points. So that was pretty cool for that to come back. Yeah, yeah. Not escaping that one. But now Paula's back above uh, a three-digit number of side points again. She was getting a little low there. Oh no! 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 Ness, why are you getting homesick so much, you bastard? <laughs> oh, that's awful. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Well, since Ness is homesick, we're fucked. We are fucked. Actually, no, you know what? We might not be fucked. Um, it just sucks that we're right at the shining spot and he's homesick. And I couldn't find... I couldn't find Pooh's fucking item. Damn it. Oh, it stinks. And nothing cures it except for calling mom. As far as I know. I mean, we could try who's healing Omega on it and see if that takes care of it. I don't think it will, but shit, we could try, but I don't think it's going to do it. Right. And I didn't replace the exit mouse. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Well, his level went up. Not that it's going to be useful for anything. Although we have Flash Omega. That that part's nice. Fuck. That's not what I was going for. Fine. I'd rather have the foppies, honestly. Yeah, sure. Let's just deal with all the foppies. Shit. Shit. not gonna matter. Of course, his homesickness gets worse with time. The shining spot will cure the homesickness, so that's good. Alright. Man, I think Ness has gotten homesick more on this playthrough than like, 
some of my playthroughs combined. Oof. Pretty brutal. We already went down that way. We know it's not down there. Shit, man. I don't know where Pooh's uh, item is, but yeah, let's just do it. So at least they'll run away from us. Because it's a lot easier to explore when things run away from you. Okay, we got Electro Spectre. Yeah, we'll use the Super Bomb bucket since we've got it. I don't remember if this has a shield or not. So you know what, for now we'll just bash. Let's use the neural neutralizer and we'll have you bash. Wow, next to no damage. That should take down any shield it has. I don't think it had a shield, but why mess around? There we go. I love how when it uses lightning, it almost always hits me, and when I use lightning, it almost always misses. That's like super, super awesome. It's, it's fucking great. Okay. Not messing around. Time to freeze. Yes, Star Storm time. Actually, just for the shits and giggles of it, so you guys can see how super awesome it is. It's great. I'm so glad I spent 20 side points to do that. It's such bullshit. <laughs> it is the biggest bag of horse shit ever. Like, why even give me Scythe Thunder? So, in case anybody's watching and wondered, you know, why doesn't Seraph ever use Scythe Thunder? That's why. That is that is why. It is garbage. It's a garbage ability, and it sucks. So we'll use Freeze instead. <laughs> God damn. We are gonna, we are doing a shit ton of damage to this motherfucker. Franklin badge, there we go. I love it when they attack Paula with lightning. But the reason why I give it to Paula is just because shit, she's you know, she's got she's got so little uh HP that um just make, kinda makes sense. Uh, to give her the flanken badge, at least it'll reflect that attack. Zuka time, and yes, we will have you life up yourself. It's a shame that Ness is um, homesick. So any given action, yep. And he didn't. He did not life up Jeff because he misses home. Fuck. <laughs> oh man, let's try that again. Life up, uh, no. Life up, Jeff. Okay. I'll, uh, freeze, gamma, Jeff. Heavy bazooka time. Just keep pouring on the damage. Meanwhile, Pooh, you can life up yourself again. <laughs> there we go, we got him. We were down near the end of uh, Paula's Psy points, though. Holy smokes. I would have had to have Paula start magneting uh, Psy after that. That was a nice offensive uh, level for her. Ooh, she got Fire Omega. Very nice. And now that we've defeated the boss of this area, now all the enemies will run from us. Oh. Of course, we have to drop down now. Here's Lumine Hall. I'll have to go back in there and look for Pooh's item. It's it's in there. I just missed it. But after getting our asses kicked, it just made sense to... Uh, this is pretty cool. And Lumine Hall, it reads your mind and posts it up there. I would say something like 15 years ago, 
um, there was this couple, and the, the girlfriend really liked Earthbound. And uh, her boyfriend had a programming background, and he ended up doing a ROM hack of this game. And the only thing different is was this scene, where instead of this, it was him proposing to her. And it was one of the coolest things ever. I don't remember, I, I don't know exactly when it was or where it was or whatnot, but I just remember hearing that story. I'm like, oh my God, that is the awesomest fucking thing ever. <laughs> and we got more of the melody here. Ness saw a vision of his father holding him. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Lumine Hall. And we're almost there. And we fall a great distance here. Yep, and now we're in a very tiny area, and of course we have no map now. Really don't want to fight that dinosaur. If I can help it. Fortunately, the dinosaurs can be easy to avoid because they get stuck in the trees. And if you're far enough away from them, they won't mess with you. But thanks to us getting the uh, cue the Land of the Lost theme song. That's right. But yeah, Lumine Hall cured our homesickness. So that was nice. I don't remember much about this particular zone. That's who has... Uh, well, we can't avoid it. This is who has Paula's 128 weapon. The Chompasaur, was it? Wait, is it the Chompasaur that has it? I don't know if it's the Chompasaur now. One of these dinosaurs, I think it is the Chompasaur, has uh, Paula's magic fry pan. Oh, right, it has a power shield. Oh, God, that's going to reflect it. Oh, it's going to hurt. I forgot. Right. Bend. Uh, actually, no. Goods. Neutralizer. <laughs> and we'll just freeze the Chompasaur. We'll use Psy attacks on this fucker. But because of the sheer resources it takes to kill it, it's really not worth it. Unless we happen to get it. But we're not going to be farming for that at all. Depths level one up. Sweet. Yes, so yes, Land of the Lost. That's where we are. Nothing over there. So we're looking for the Tenda Village down here. So we can fall in here. This is like a little rescue area. Case of danger, evacuate here. The boss. That's a present we want up there, but let's save the games considering what we just did. Ring, ring, ring. Ness is your dad. I deposited much more money in your account. You have a fuck ton of money in the bank. <laughs> more than you could ever carry. <laughs> hey, Neutermass, how are you, man? Thank you for the lurk. Always good to see you. We're just playing Earthbound. Kind of closing in the end. You feel the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. Blue springs are great for their recovering health. Red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drawing out poison. So yeah, blue are HP. Blues are life ups and the reds are healing. Here we go. Got a little stuck in there. I hear you there. I took the day off work yesterday. I feel like all I did was sleep. I got a couple of errands done, but... Ooh, we'll take the brain food lunch. Saturdays are good for recovering. Getting rid of all that sleepiness. Now, if I could just figure out where the fudge I'm going. Hmm. I really don't want to fight that thing again. I'm gonna go around this way. I think I have to go that way, though. 
I work weekends, so not so much for me. Oh, so lame. Yeah, I remember those days working weekends. I do not miss working weekends. More mentally tired. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Let's see. What are we doing up here? Oh, that's a dinosaur I don't want to fight. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was looking for. This is the village we wanted. I used to work retail, and boy, the, the mental exhaustion is real. I just found game genie codes to force enemies to drop their items. Oh, wow. For this game, Earthbound? That would be awesome. You guys smell really good. Who am I? I'm a Tenda. Normal battles, instant wins. Wow. That is nice, man. So if you get an instant win, the enemies will drop their items. That is great. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? I'm going to open the door. You get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I'll let you out. Thank you for the Tendekraut. <laughs> and Ness's Tendekraut was stolen. The awful spell surrounding the group is now gone. But just like that, now we can get inside this Tenda village. Thank you for coming all this way in its primitive country. You must be tired. To stay, it'll run you $400. You're going to stay, aren't you? No. No, we're not going to stay. <laughs> You do work retail? Yeah, one of those cool people that sell phone contracts. <laughs> hey, you know what? We need we need you to sell us uh, phones, man. Can't live in today's world without a phone. Let's save. I can only imagine the stories you hear. Do you... Well, I don't need to know that, but uh, <laughs> I wonder sometimes where the phone tech support people, because you deal with the, the general public. I just imagine some of the tech questions I field from professors. And I'm like, man, I can't even imagine what it would like to work at a Verizon store or an AT&T store or anything else like that. And just getting the gamut of tech support questions of why their phone doesn't work. Um, eh, welcome back, Deep Fry. Sure that phones are kind of vital now yes yeah it's not it's not a luxury it's it's a requirement um you can't live without a phone these days painting school i could never paint we made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up that's what my brother tells me but i don't believe it he's just spewing out of his cake hole <laughs> all right so now we found this talking rock you finally came ness Finally, you talk to me. Listen, Ness. I'm going to tell you something very important. Phone! Who uses phones? <laughs> right? <laughs> you may want to take notes. Ready? You're the chosen one. Your destiny is not only yours. It is the destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember Giant Step and Own It? That is one of your sanctuary. It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize your skills. It was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of that place. It's snore phone no more. It's media device. <laughs> Give me two soup cans on a string. <laughs> I could never get the two uh, cans on a string to really work. Uh, me and a friend in Jersey back when I lived there as a really young kid. Uh, we connected cans by a string, and we could, but we could never really get it to work. Uh, but yeah, I've got, I use my phone as an MP3 player too. It's rare that I actually use my phone as a phone, mostly because of all the spam callers. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. I'll tell you all of the power spots. One, giant step and own it. Lily put steps in peaceful rest valley near Tucson. Milky well in grapefruit falls in Saturn Valley. And I guess the point of this is in case we missed any of them, um, we would have, um, we would still be able to get it. Rainy circle found by Jeff, magnet hill, pink cloud, and looming hole where the shining lichen lives in the cave. Man, I really tore through all my soda today. Holy smokes. Uh, and then finally, a new place is now going to be opened up to you. 
And real people know what conversations are better off as texts, emails. <laughs> Some conversations are just better off as texts and emails. That is very true. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gigas' plans. Understand? The time will come. The time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. Didn't you think that the tent of above have some particularly beautiful women? They're still shy, though. We are the same tent as those above ground. We seem different? Yeah, you know, the tent up there are shy and don't like to talk. Don't feed the dinosaurs in the cage. The boss. <laughs> and I love how the Tenda built a cage to put all the dinosaurs in. All they did was cage themselves. We couldn't stand the quiet up above. So we established a separate tribe. I hope we can be friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live up above. Somewhere around here. Let's play store. My friend Aigo loves this game. So may I help you? You looking for anything in particular? There we go. There's the holy fry pan, the ultimate bat. You know what, I should have just waited and picked up the ultimate bat down here. Boy, what a pain in the ass. Alright, so we just need a couple of things. Sure. Yes, we'll sell that. Yes, we will buy the holy fry pan for sure. Sure. Have Ness carry it. No. Whatever. <laughs> Eat the pizza, whatever. Having the holy fry pan is more useful. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's a hell of an upgrade there. 120 to 160. I wonder if we missed a fry pan somewhere. We probably did. You know what? We probably did miss a fry pan up at Winners. That's okay. Let's sell what we. Let's sell the chef's fry pan. Yes. Sell the great charm now. Hell, I could have just sold that before moving all that stuff around, but that's alright. Don't have enough for the shiny coin. It would be nice. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. Let's sell. We got two bags of Dragonite. We're gonna need a key. Oh, big lead bat. Good. We don't need the spicy drink. Right, now we can sell shiny coin. That'll replace the talisman coin. Yep, perfect. No, that's super good. Okay, that was pretty nice. Those were some good upgrades there. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide tender. I was an exchange student who traveled to a company known as an economic superpower. My name is IOSDK. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Shall I loan you some money? No. So that's basically an ATM in this area, but it's exorbitant. So to essentially withdraw 20, you also have to pay him 20 bucks. Fuck that. <laughs> we'll just... If we really wanted to do anything of that, we would have just spent money and uh or teleported out going to a real atm and just come back but i really do want to um
I really do want to find Pooh's item. And I know it's up there. We just missed it. So like airport adjacent gas stations. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Freaking terrible. Back over here we go. Spend the night here. Yep. Restay. Let's see if Jeff can repair something. Still can't repair any of those items. His IQ must not be high enough yet. But we'll get there. Another couple of levels and he'll be good. So now we go back. We're going to get whose other item that's in here. It's worth it. Just annoyed that I couldn't remember where it was. But now everything's going to just avoid us so we can go through it and clear it much easier now. Right, so we're here. Yep, that's it. Run away from me, buddy. Perfect. Ah. Whatever. Auto win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sure. Give me some XP. That's fine. Oh, there it is. We probably have to go over here and then back up. Really? This thing whips around so much. Ah. Good. It'll stay away from me now. Okay, so we got that. I see present. Just need to get to it. Run, guys, run. Really? Oh, fine, we're not going to avoid it anyway. Let's at least get the free attack. Oh, well, that works. Appreciate it. Instant win. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll take the level up on it. Appreciate it. Really? What a waste. Why that didn't just give us an auto win, I don't know. But yeah, now Paula's attacks are actually decent. Alright, so we probably have to go down and then back up down there later. Might be why it's so missable. Right, sure, I'll take the side caramel. Why not? Alright. I'll take that. Jeff's IQ go up by another one. Hopefully get him to the point where he can start repairing those things. Oh, right. This shit's a little annoying. There we go. Now we can get to that. And there's our other present. And I almost guarantee this is Pooh's item here. Yep. The Diadem of Kings. That's... Oh, fuck's sakes. Cover about oh well 250 HP that's actually worth kind of keeping there. Well, fine. We'll just use, use a bottle of water. Getting the diadem of kings is worth it. <laughs> yeah, 136 to 156, and the diadem of kings protects against certain. Um, Status ailments, I think. What does it protect against? Miscellaneous equipment can only be used by poo. Increases the defense. Oh, that's it? Is that really it? Fine. Whatever. But considering how rare it is to find anything that even works on him, it was worth doing. Okay, so now we can get the hell out of here. Oh. Yeah, you're going to make me do this. Auto win, maybe? No. God forbid. Sure, bash it. We freeze the conducting spirit. Same thing, we'll just freeze the conducting spirit. Paul and Pooh could kill that thing. I mean when we go through Looming Hall, I think we're gonna re um, we're gonna reheal anyway. And we'll get through that pretty fast. Now we just bash our way. The rest of this 
Once we get back to the Lost Underworld, there are a couple of presents still left to find, but our main objective now is to get to Fire Spring. Paula's got her best weapon now. And as soon as Jeff can repair, I think it's the broken harmonica, he'll have his best weapon. No, this is up this way. Ugh. I don't really remember how to go. Hey, cat. What's going on, cat? This is the way out, right? So, okay, so this is the way out. We go over this way. Maybe I do have to go down and up at one point. Well, we'll take the magic butterfly, sure, as we use some side points. Thankfully, everything's running away from us, so that makes this part easier. That's also why I wanted to come back here and do it, rather than trying to fight all that stuff. Shit. Alright, I guess down we go. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Oh, Seraph, how does this go? <laughs> you know what? I think this actually is the way I want to go. No, that way goes back that way. Fuck. Right, that's just a circle. Fine. We go... We went down this way. And this just goes this way. Maybe this just goes up. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Having a good Saturday? I'm just lost. <laughs> Playing Earthbound. Get lost in a cave. Although at this point, we don't need to go this way. You know what? We don't need to go about this way. We can just go back out to the Tenda Village. Oh, come on, go away. Go away thing. Oh, it's going to make us fight these. <laughs> That's all right. We're just going to run away from these things since it's a surprise attack. Because at this point, we're just trying to get back into the Lost Underworld. We're not looking to get XP or anything. Although it's weird that I'm having so much of a... I mean, we were just in this area. Poop just did a huge clean in my office. Oh, man. Well, we're going to get a lot of XP off this. <laughs> yeah, I know what that... Oh, yeah, free Fire Omega. Yeah, let's roast these guys. This should be fun. All right, so at least we're going to get some XP with this. Yeah, these things are awesome. They're such... They're so great for XP. I just can't believe I forgot how to get through this cave. <laughs> so, she had been asleep, and yet a second... And I, obviously, there's no way for her to know. Mercleo! She just peeked her head in. Mercleo! Mercleo! I see you. She's getting her drink, and then she's looking at me like, Hey, why are you interrupting my drink? All right, get your drink. It's all right, get your drink, but I'll, I'll give you attention as soon as you're done drinking, cat. <laughs> yeah, slugs are great XP parbs. Once she's done getting her drink, then I'll, I'll make her come over here and appear on camera and say hi to everybody. <laughs> she uh, tuckered herself out playing... Uh, playing and asking for pets and everything else earlier today. Oh my goodness gracious, Seraph. How did I get so lost in this cave? Oh, come on. All right, fine. Let's kill more of these things. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. I now have sound alerts that everybody's had their more, uh, <laughs> some fair share with having some fun with. <laughs> it's been a good time. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's, let's exit out this way. You know what? I may not be able to exit out. Because I think you fall. Get on with it. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. All right. So yeah, we're just going to teleport back down. Because I can't figure out how to get through that cave. So this is the best plan. <laughs> get on with it. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> I tried to help, but I need... I get lost easily. I need breadcrumbs. You know, I made it through it the first time pretty easily. I don't know 
what happened there, but anyway. We'll just teleport to the underworld. Okay, come here, kitty kitty. Oh, who's a good kitty kitty? Come here, cat. Come here, cat. Okay. This time I'm gonna properly... Properly go into the menu. Come here, cat. Come here, cat. Cat. Cat, cat. Okay, fine. <laughs> Hello, yo. Hi. What's up, cat? Okay, kitty kitty. Here, come get a pet. Come get a pet. <laughs> we'll switch real quick. We'll switch real quick so everybody can see the kitty. Hello, kitty kitty. Hi, cat. Hello. She'd been sleeping the whole time uh, until uh, until just now. I saw her peek her head in. Oof. No coughing. Not allowed to do that. Hello, cat. Oh, poor girl. Hello. Are you a good cat? Yes! <laughs> Everybody loves Cleo. <laughs> there. there you go. Yeah, go wash your- yeah, right? And don't touch my face. Oh, for the love of God, Seraph, don't touch your face again. So, uh, before I started stream, I actually started stream a little late because Cleo needed pets and some playtime. And, like a genius, I rubbed my face or I itched my nose or something and I ended up having a hell of an allergic fit. So I actually ended up starting a little late today because of you, my adorable little shit. <laughs> Hello, cat. Oh, I'm, yes, I am allergic to cats and I am, a, I am a very smart person who has an animal that I am allergic to. So yes, I'm allergic to my cat. And up until recently, I wasn't able to swallow pills. So, you know, that's actually a good point. Now that I can swallow pills now, with my recent health thing that happened last year, I learned how to swallow pills. Maybe I should just get some allergy meds. Yeah, kitty kitty. Oh, who's a good girl? I know I love you too. Oh, you're not even on camera while I'm petting you. You're just out of frame. Come here. Come on. Come on. You're just, you're just there. <laughs> no, you should just ignore it and continue to suffer, right? <laughs> She's just out of out of screen, uh, biting on my hand. I know. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, I know. Bite my hand. That or the large ones get a pill splitter, right? The silver lining of that saga. Gee, good cat. All right. So we'll we're gonna go back to in game here. Hi. Are you gonna bite my hand while I play? Hmm. Yeah. Hi, cat. I love you too, cat. Yep. Bite my arm. Sure. I love you too. It's one of the ways she shows affection is to kind of like lightly chomp on my arm. <laughs> You're such a weird cat. I know. She caught a venomous snake the other day. I'm happy this time I'm not allergic to animals that I know of. Oh my god, yes, you are so lucky. Don't get me wrong, I love this cat. She's worth it. She's worth suffering for, but oh my goodness. The, uh, the times where my eyes burn and my nose just swells and everything else, it's not, it's not fun. It's just not fun at all. Yeah, yeah. She she loves her love bites. What? What? You gonna bite my arm? What are we doing? What are we doing, cat? Okay. Uh right, I'm I've got a controller for this. Okay, so I warped back in. Let's figure out what the hell else Seraph is doing. Besides trying to avoid fighting dinosaurs. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, you get stuck by that mountain, buddy. <laughs> So that worked as a uh, as a good little uh, brief kind of interruption here. Hello, cat. And of course, we've got chubby obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heartrending. <laughs> well, all the critters she evicts from your domain, she's earned her room and board. Yes. Oh, yes, she has. <laughs> Go wash her hands. Well, she's right here, and I'm continuing to pet her, so doesn't doesn't make sense for me to wash my hands yet. Now, once she hops down. And at some point she'll get bored of hanging out here, but right now she's just on the table keeping me company. She's she's good like that. She does like to hang out. So she'll hang out up here while I play games and stuff. Um, or she'll hop down to the floor and sit on my foot. And that'll be a good opportunity for me to just go get wash my hands real quick and come back and then she can sit on my foot. So I don't need to wash my feet. Hello, cat. I know, purr, purr, purr. So I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. <laughs> 
I love how things in this game can talk mean to you and they could lower your stats. I was gonna say, I think death is uh, TOS. <laughs> And every time the ground shakes, it means a uh, hot spring is about to erupt. But I don't remember where all the treasure chests are, so let's just walk around real quick. Alright, that cave is where I think we want to go. So, I'm just going to peek my head in there real quick, make sure it's not where... Ah, different one. This is pretty cool. This cave is going to be very important later. <laughs> but um oh okay what what oh shit i was looking at cleo instead of the dinosaur <laughs> that happens you know what and there are no regrets <laughs> see you cat what are we doing cat? okay <laughs> let's uh yeah, she, Paula can't do anything. Uh, we'll just use heavy bazooka time. Oh, okay, hello. Now she's gonna bite my freaking leg here. Uh, yeah, now you're about to get stomped. Yeah, right? Cleo wishes death upon your character. <laughs> oh, man. Paula was able to move. Freeze. Okay, you gonna sit on my foot? You gonna be a good girl? All right, well, once we kill this dinosaur, I'm gonna wash my hands. What are we doing, cat? Yep, you're just gonna camp out down there? Okay. Yep, good girl. Okay, you're gonna camp out by my foot. Good, good kitty. Okay. Let's freeze this. I think it's vulnerable to freeze. Or if it's not vulnerable to freeze, at least freeze will do some damage. Uh, we'll just have him bash. What I should do is have some, like, wet naps on my desk so, so I can just use those instead. <laughs> yeah, and there were no regrets. Although it still took a beating, didn't I? Um, no, not especially. We're okay. <clears throat> so I'm looking for Fire Spring, but I'm also looking for Presence. I think, yep, that's the Fire Spring Cave. That's the one we're going to want. I was about to suggest mid-typing when you said it, yep. Uh, hand sanitizer... I, I don't think hand sanitizer is particularly effective for, um... for allergens because, um, it's not, it's not anything alive. It's not a bacteria. You're, you're you know, allergic to their dander and pollen. Or, um, allergic to their dander. So it's... I don't know if it's all that effective, but it could be just because it helps just get stuff off your hands. I don't know, I've never really tried hand sanitizer for allergy stuff. Go get those baby butt wipes, right? I have known dust and molar allergy, yeah. So many, like, I think it's something ridiculous, like 90% of the human species is allergic to mold. Mm. It's an extremely common allergy. I don't remember if there is anything else in the overworld. Maybe there isn't. All right, well, we've got the main items. If there is, it's like a secret herb or a horn of life. It's probably not worth it. And we've saved, so let's do fire cave. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Cleo. She's using my, uh, my desk, my little rod at the very bottom of the desk as a headrest. I should take a picture of her as she does that. Um, all right, let's go in this little cave real quick. Boy, these things are hard. And the psychos here have another 128 item. I don't remember what it is, but it's in here. These things, I think, are vulnerable to freeze. So I think we can get away with that. Shoot. Yeah, let's just shoot the major psychic psycho. And we'll keep who where he is. Oh, God. Fire spray. Yep, we're here. <clears throat> we are here. Ugh. And of course they do a bunch of fire attacks. Everything here is tough. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. So we got that thing. 
Boy, are we, uh, in tr oh my god, these things do so much damage, man. See ya, cat. Nope, she decided to wander. Maybe she's gonna, nope, oh, she's going out back in the bedroom. Probably gonna go take another nap. Came in, caused some chaos, got me ambushed, and now she's gonna go take another nap. <laughs> Let's see, speed capsule. We will take the speed capsule. Uh, status. Yeah, you know what? Let's use that on Poo, and he'll regain 20 side points. We could go up. Okay. Give me two seconds, folks. Let me wash my hands really fast. <clears throat> yeah, my eye is itchy, and if I don't do it now, I'm going to itch my face, and you guys will see me uh, scream, Oh my god, why did I do that? I'm so dumb. <laughs> she got her loving, and now it's exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Kind of energy for a nighttime prowess for intruders and many limbs or no limbs. That is so true, Nikki. Oh my goodness. This cat. Oh my Safely. But yeah, for the most part, just a quick running my hands with a little soap and water takes care of the allergies. I kind of want science what she do to someone if someone just showed up at night. Would she hunt them like the bugs? You know, I don't know. Or would she approach them and uh, and look for pets and help them move stuff? <laughs> yes. Her. She, <laughs> I think that's true, Darkstar. I'm really not sure. Because Cleo is so friendly to people, um, I don't really, I don't really know what she would do to like a hostile intruder. Um, I, I don't think I've, I don't think she's ever met a person that she didn't like. Um, or another, well, yeah, she's also pretty friendly with other cats. Although the outside cats, she does spook off. Uh, she has grown to be a little territorial in that regard. Uh, my brother's cat will greet you at the door and meow at you and demand love. <laughs> yep, that's her. That is sir. When you open up the door, she'll wander down and she's expecting at least a treat, if not wet food. Let's get this super, let's get this psycho here. <laughs> ah, the soul confusing, the soul consuming flame. Fortunately, everything in here is pretty much um, vulnerable to freeze. So that's, that's helpful for this spot. Uh, yeah, we'll have just have Boo Bash here. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking damage. That's a lot of fucking damage. <sighs> okay, we took care of that. Yeah, she is a character, man. And I've had good... I've had cats that are good hunters, but boy, Cleo really uh, sets the bar high. I've never had a cat that has uh, been as efficient a hunter as she is. And despite her size, she's really, really fast. Yeah, we're not going to be able to play games with that. Oh no, Mooch will get a pat and then run to her bowl and show it's empty. She eats twice a day. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I do a hybrid of that. So she has a bowl with dry food and she also has... Um, she also gets wet food should be once a day at five o'clock. Oh, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, Ness, why do you miss, man? Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Oh shit, Paula's... <sighs> Paula's got saved her. 
Paula's guts absolutely saved her. So Paula's guts saved her there. Completely. So we're just lo uh, life up Paula here. Uh, but yeah, uh, so Cleo gets has dry food that she can eat whenever she wants. And then every day at five, theoretically, I feed her wet food dinner. Today I fed her a little early before I started streaming because she was just meowing up a storm. Uh, and I'm like, all right, I'll feed you a little early. <laughs> I, uh, I definitely caved and gave in. Uh, so with my brother and sister-in-law's schedule, she eats in the morning and then again when one of them gets home. Uh, doesn't really have food left out. That is the healthier way to do it. If I had to do it over again, yeah, didn't, I couldn't heal Paula fast enough. Yeah, of course, now it wastes it. That's the part that sucks, man. Ugh, these fucking psychos. Ugh, that's so brutal. The good news is, now that Pooh has enough um, healing here, we can just have Pooh heal Paula. And it's not a big deal. It's just a matter of side points. It just kind of sucks. Yeah, let's just have Ness heal up himself. We're already starting to get a little low here. Yeah, the things in Fire Spring can hit pretty hard, unfortunately. Ugh. All right, so it's only one Psychic Psycho, but the major Psycho is what can um, drop the one out of 128 item. I don't remember what the 128 item is, but they can drop it. Ugh. All these fucking fire attacks. And of course they hit everybody. Stop taking damage, but now we got to heal everybody again. Everybody's just kind of uh, squishy. That ends up being. Okay, there's a present over here, though. Band. Yeah, we'll do that. Diamond band, platinum band. All right, so let's. Pixie's bracelet, Jeff. Yes, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> Do a little bit of upgrade. Oh, and of course, something spawned while we were doing. Oh, you little bastard. And it tried to circle up behind us and ambush us. <sighs> oh, I didn't heal Paula. Fuck. Let's freeze you and hope we can do it. Shit, man. You might need to exit and teleport out. Yeah, I think we're going to need to teleport out. We're running too low on side points already. We gained some XP, but yeah, we're, I'm just, I'm chewing through my side points too fast here. They just beat us up a little too bad. It's all right. We gained a couple of levels. Gain some more side point maximums. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Let's just play games with that till good. Let's just do that. Okay, so Mooch is a lucky cat though. With my brother, remember every chief bartender? She gets to uh, taste some of his creations. Aw. We learned she likes duck, hates Brussels sprouts, loves ham and potatoes. This Christmas, she tried to steal my trout. <laughs> I saved her the fish skin, took a too big a bite, almost choked. Oh, goodness gracious. It's scared the hell out of herself. Hey, Carol, what's going on, buddy? Loves nacho cheese, too. So that was my old cat. You son of a bitch. <laughs> How you doing, Kara, my friend? Always good to see you. How's your weekend going? We're just talking cats and trying to survive all the crazy shit that's in here. Oh, I thank you. I do appreciate it. So we're going to have Paula do more freeze action here to the soul consuming flame. It's going to die really badly. Actually, we'll just have Pooh Bash. Uh, oh my goodness, do I have stories about cats? So my previous cat, Diesel, loved cheese. 
So one of my staples being a bachelor, I love just making some mac and cheese. It's a nice, easy. Oh, I thank you, Kara. I appreciate the subscription. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna have to get some better emotes. So if anybody knows any good uh, graphic designers, not the uh, not the scammers on Twitter, <laughs> uh, feel free to send me their information. Uh, I would love to um, get some proper emotes going. Oh, and thank you, Ghosty, for the shout outs. Now I can paste ASCII ball all I want. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's still one of like the most legendary things ever. I'm just like in Fallout one day, I'm building something. I'm trying to figure out how to make something work. And uh, I, I I missed Kara showing up. And next thing I know, I hear an alert. I look over and I just see a gigantic dick butt. <laughs> and it's amazing. Oh, we got, we got some uh, rain coming in. Actually, I could probably open up my uh, window at this point. Oh, wow, it's really pouring outside. Woohoo! We got a hype train coming. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got somebody calling. Hey, it's your dad. <laughs> Why, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate that. <laughs> Kara, but <laughs> all right. And of course, now he's uh, yelling at me to go back. But even though we told him we'd take a break, we're we're not going to. We're gonna head out. Oh, let's take a look at this. <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. I, uh, this is a good time. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, we're about to run out of all of these, uh, we're about to run out of side points. This is gonna be bad. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out, we're gonna teleport, we're gonna teleport probably back to, um, uh, want it. Go get an exit mouse from up there. And just, uh, the screen can't handle these yams, Nikki. That's right. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so, so fucking funny. <laughs> that sounds like an issue that needs fixing. Oh, of course there's going to be a dinosaur we're going to have to deal with. So we got the Chompasaur. And it's got a Psy... Uh, actually, it's got a Psy Shield, so let's defend against that. Let us use Freeze. We'll kick on the Neutralizer. That'll take out the Shield. And yes, more Freeze. And we'll use side powers on this Chompasaur and kill it. Who knows? Maybe it'll have the magic fry pan. Although we have the holy fry pan for Paula, which is better. There we go. We just brought down the size shield. Man, it is really important. Oh, it's going to kill Paula. Ah, it's going to kill Paula. Yep. Oh, yeah. Paula's very, very dead. Let's just try and get through this fast. There we go. Did we kill it? Yes, Paula saved herself by home by homering against the dinosaur. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Now we can, we can side teleport out of here. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. Let's just side teleport out to one it. Let's, we'll go back home. We'll sleep, we'll recover all of our shit. We'll get an exit mouse, because we need an exit mouse. And we can get an exit mouse at the very uh, tail end of town. So it's also funny that we're going back to the hometown because this place might look a little different in the not so distant future. That is pretty cool to see the hype train up there though. That's pretty neat. <laughs> so uh, how's your weekend going, Kara? Good to see you. You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Well, there's understanding these things. Eat some pasta, scoot up to bed. And now we'll recover. There we go. Broken trumpet. Now it became the defense shower. Okay, that's not great. We don't really need that. We could sell it, I suppose. But I guess if we get into a tough fight, we can use that to boost our uh, defense. Took a nap, ready to go out micro wrestling tonight. Nice. Today has definitely been the day for naps. So now we're just gonna wander down. We'll get an exit mouse. Actually, is there, are there any? Let's see, do we wanna sell anything? No, we wanna keep all that stuff. That looks good. That looks good. Do we need anything else here? Yeah, the defense shower, I guess, is okay. We'll keep that for now. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, we don't need the eraser eraser. Do I really need to keep some of this other crap? 
Probably should keep the brain food lunch. We need the brain stone. I don't think I need that salt packet, but yeah, let's... Since we're this close, let's have Tracy store the eraser eraser. We're not going to need that. And poor dog, he won't come help us anymore. <laughs> but at least he helped us early in the game when we needed it. Uh, yes, store. Store the eraser eraser. Nope, that's it. Thanks, Tracy. Nope, nope. That's all I need. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Figure since we were already here, that was a much easier way of making that work. Yay, inventory management. I mean, thank goodness at least that we have the option to have our sister store stuff. If we didn't have that, we would have really been in trouble. <laughs> That's all right. Moving on down here. This game is so awesome. But yeah, that fire spring is a hell of an area, man. It um, it brings the heat. I guess no pun intended. So the exit mice are in here. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular mouse, but you could treat him as one of your items. <laughs> I love how we just get an exit mouse to come along with us, and we just treat it as an item. But now, no matter how far we get in uh, Fire Spring, now we can get out. Okay, so. We have enough now? Yeah, we have enough clearance. Yep, yeah, back to the underworld. Oh, I just clipped the frickin' fence. Oh, I clipped a frickin'... I clipped an enemy. That's what we clipped. I think that's what I clipped. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Yep, enemy. They keep spawning there. We keep banging into them. Alright, fine. We'll just go up here. We should have enough clearance, except for the stupid ants that show up. So lame. Okay. Now we've got enough of a one way. We'll try this again. Fucking fleas, right? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. Can we get over that? No, we can't. Okay. We avoided that thing. Oh my god, that's right. Those freaking boulders. I forgot about these crazy ass things. <laughs> Look at that crazy ass thing. Holy shit. I may not be able to avoid all of them. We, we should be cool. Okay, yeah, we gotta call. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we gotta go around this way. Well, pick your poison, Seraph. Dinosaur. Yep, dinosaur. <laughs> Wetnosaur. All right, let's bash this guy. Let's try and conserve some of that. Good. Heavy bazooka time. The boulders. It does. It, it does. <laughs> oh my goodness. I could just fight it just for the sake of fighting it. But I remember them being somewhat tough opponents. What sword was able to move, but at this point, I think we should be able to kill it. Should be close enough. Except for the fact, okay, good, we got it tame. But yeah, that, uh, I forget what it's called, like an invincible sphere or something like that. Ah, Jeff's offense went up by a lot. Fuck it, let's just fight it. Yeah, I was hoping I could get a surprise attack since we were this close to it anyway. You confront the ego orb. <laughs> yeah, let's bash it. I think it's vulnerable to freeze, but let's spy on it. It's been a while since I've fought an ego orb. You know what, Pooh? Mirror. Try and mirror that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he couldn't turn into ego orb. Well, it stopped moving before I could spy on it. <laughs> but I remembered it being somewhat vulnerable to freeze. Yeah, 
Yeah, that thing bounces around. It's hard to avoid. It is pretty neat, though, that it shows you uh, kind of... They, they use different sprites. Oh, fuck. I went the wrong way. All right. Back out this way we go. Real chiseled features. <laughs> Thank you, Ghosty. <laughs> oh... <laughs> you know, if I ever need a pun, I always know I can count on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wish I could find the other presents. I think there are other presents around here, but I, I guess most of them are in the uh, fire spring. Oh, no. Look at all that shit. Come on. It's what? This is going to charge us, isn't it? Nope. Good. We managed to avoid it. Let's head up this way. Trying to get back over to Fire Spring. I think. Oh, there's another present. Didn't get that one. Come on. What do we get? There. There we go. It's a little awkward. Guts capsule inside. Well, we will take that. Raise Ness's guts. The higher the guts you have, the more, uh, the higher the chance are of critical hits, that smash attack. And, uh, also the higher chance of, uh, surviving mortal damage to the point where you could take, you know, 9,000 damage, but it won't matter because you'll just end up with one at the end of it. So if you have real high guts stat, that can happen, which is super handy for things that do a ridiculous amount of damage. Because, you know, there aren't anything like that in this game. Good thing is there's a phone right by there. At this point, we're now pretty well recovered. This time we'll have another go at Fire Spring. And now we have an exit mouse, so we'll get a little further in. So I'm not trying to farm, it just kind of happens because the psychos hit us so hard. And of course they do fire attacks, and fire attacks hit your entire party. So Ness is primarily going to be a healer. Now granted, we could just come out, and we could hit up that spring. Actually, we could have those hit up the spring, because that will restore... It definitely restores hit points. You know what? I don't remember if the spring restores... Psy points or not. Let's find out. Yes, Ness has 180 here. Let's cruise over here and see if it ever replenishes side points or not. I don't remember if it does or not. All right, so we're here. I think these only replenish hit points. I don't think they restore psychic points. Any day. Any day, Hot Spring. Thank you. They do. There we go. Now it worked. Hot spring energizes you completely. Yep, it does restore side points. Okay. So we don't have to we don't have to retreat, retreat. We can use an exit mouse, come back here, go to the hot spring, recover, and then go in. That will help. Okay, back to hot spring, back to fire spring. Let's see if we can get back up this. Uh, all right, so I think I want to go up. Okay, so we're going to want that that present there. I think I can make it to that door. Good. We made it to the door. Come on. Big money. Ah. That's the only problem when you try that shit. Oh, God, the evil elemental. I hate this fucking thing. This thing can possess you. Which is a real problem. You know what, Boo? Try to mirror the evil one. I don't think you can, but... Now... God forbid you do something useful. That, that's just... There we go. Fortunately, they're a little squishy, but yeah, when you've got a... When they're in a, a gigantic group of things, and you're prioritizing... Oh, I don't know. The major psychic psycho... Those could be a real problem. All right, now it doesn't give us that. I was trying to get through this without having to fight that. Mm. 
Yeah. Wasn't much we could do about that. The boulder has a nicer face. Yes, it does. <laughs> soul confusing, soul consuming flame. Yeah, I'm glad I don't do a whole lot of, uh, I'm glad I don't overkill with the freeze. Just because it's so vulnerable to that. Alright, our prince leveled up a little bit. The blob reminds me of a Pokemon. Oh, bag of Dragonite inside. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight this thing. But at least we get a surprise. Ooh! Freebie! That was nice of it. Okay. Now we can head down. <laughs> so I actually am not all that familiar with a lot of Pokemon, believe it or not. Okay, now we will do Freeze Gamma because we need to kill that fast. Oh, I could have sold the Platinum Band. Shit. Oh well. It's fine. And just in case we don't kill the Soul Consuming Flame, we'll do with that. Oh, uh, yep, we're still at it. It's like foreshadowing since I'm assuming this is pre-Pokemon era. This is pre-Pokemon actually, but probably not by much. Probably only by like a year or two. Holy crap, Ness. Because <laughs> I want to say this game came out in 92 and Pokemon started in like 95, didn't it? I feel like Pokemon started around then. Oh, well, at least it gave us an... Oh, cool. Yes, yes. Give us the freebies. Damn, we were we were gonna get the ambush on it, and then it teleported. Oh, that's so lame. Oh well. Eevee. Oh, Earthbound was 94, and Pokemon was 96. So yep, it did predate it like a couple of years. It took a year or so to hit the states, but you might be right. I can't remember. Yeah, I I wouldn't I would have needed to look it up. I'm surprised Earthbound wasn't earlier. Earthbound was 94. My goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and the evil elemental is gone. Time for sure flies, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this thing is over here. Yeah, we weren't, gonna... we weren't getting away from that one. Heavy Bazooka and Bash. Although I have seen Rob the Wonderful play Pokemon, and that looks. Oh, of course. Well, you know what? If all the characters get possessed by a ghost, let it be poo. <laughs> uh, and it looks like a fun time. It actually seems like weird as a weird as a descriptor this might be. But it seems like a cute series. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, we managed to get it to get caught on that. Okay, so we need to go up this way. I don't know if there's anything I could do to purify that ghost. Because I don't think healing does it. I don't think the secret herb does it. You know what? I've got enough secret herbs. Let's try it. Yeah, I didn't think so. It was worth a try. Come on, come on, come on. One more. We'll try it one more time. Perfect. Good. Skipping even one encounter is incredibly advantageous resource-wise. Goodbye, soul-consuming flame. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that, that stupid ghost is going to really just be an annoyance for us. Wow, Paula, I don't even think got to go. <laughs> so I'm not even going to waste any more freezes on it. I'm just going to bash that from now on. We already got the treasure chest over there. Okay, so now we have our choices. We could go through that cave, we could go up, or we could go over this way. And I don't remember which is the ways, which are the ways to do this. I just, I just don't remember. I think we want to go up ultimately. But let's go in this cave. Yeah, fine. Let's just fight our way through the cave. <laughs> Let's just fight our way through it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's super awesome. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the psychic psychos. For sure. Freeze that. Shoot the psychic psycho. And yeah, just bash the psychic psycho. Good. So far that ghost isn't really debilitating us. Like I'd said, like, um, as I feared, but it can. It certainly can. I'd save cave so I don't listen. Uh, I'd save caves, so don't listen to me. <laughs> oh, the fire damn! So, oh god, it possessed us again. But fire damage can hit the ghosts, so the psychic psychos can kill the ghosts. Good to know. That's one way we're gonna get rid of these ghosts. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Thundering out there a little bit. <laughs> uh, all right, shit. That might actually be the way up. Fuck. Uh, damn, this might be the way up. All right, you know what? Considering how hard this area is, maybe I should just work my way up and then explore it later. Fuck. This rain needs to fuck off, right? Although the rain is cooling things down outside, so you got that going for us. Actually, I might open up the window if the rain is kind of calming down that sun. Because the problem with this time of day, when I have this, when I have the window open, it completely blinds my camera. But I do like the uh, window open when I can. Get some more. Ah, oh, I got caught up by the damn rope. I was trying to get to the other climbing rope to get to it first. Oh yeah, let's just bash the hell out of the soul-consuming flame. That's enough of that. And we get a free bit of 880 damage on the ghost. On the evil elemental, rather. Yeah. Fortunately, those little ghosts don't do all that much damage. They're actually worse when they make me lose attacks. They're mostly annoying at this level. Now, when we were level 20, those little ghosts were a real problem. Like around threed. Oof. That was brutal getting possessed. There we go. Hopefully instant kill. Nope, no instant kill. That's a surprise considering, um... We're gonna kill this thing in one round. So I'm not sure why it didn't give us the auto kill on this guy. Weird. We must just not be the right level yet. Or the right offensive threshold. Yep, we got it. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just bash the shit out of it. And that's the end of that. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the window. Nice out. <laughs> Well, nice out from the perspective of in here. If I had to go somewhere, I would feel much differently about it. Yeah, all right. So we'll probably have to go out that cave, to go back in and get that present. Oh, I hate these fucking things. Yeah, let's have to have be go on the Psychic Psycho. And let's try to not get hit by fire. Even though fire will do damage to the ghosts, as we just found out. <laughs> Good, now it can't even go. Perfect. Man, those major psychic psychos, though, those things do so much damage. Oh, boy. That's gonna kill... Uh, yep, that's gonna kill Paula. Go. That's it for that. Perfect. But it killed the one ghost. <laughs> it killed Paula's ghost. 
<laughs> Oof. Okay. So to go... The proper way to get through this is to go past this cave and continue going up. We obviously will not. We're going to go and get that treasure chest. I think we could just do this. Uh, yes. Let's heal you a little bit more. And yeah, we'll go out this one. No, I want to go out that way. Yep, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, so now we cruise over here. We get this present. Moonbeam gun, huh? Let's give that to Jeff. Death Ray. All right, so now you got a better weapon, Jeff. Perfect. That was worth it. Now we head back. Man, so many enemies. Let's try and not have to fight anything in here. Thank God. Yes, please. <laughs> These monsters are so tough that it's it's worth trying to avoid them like that. I know it's a little cheesy, but it's it's really worth trying to avoid. <laughs> oh no. Well, that should take care of the uh There, there we go. Cured all of our ghosts. <laughs> and just like that, we're no longer possessed. Thanks to it spouting out all that flame. Did end up doing like 100 damage to Paula, though. So that part sucks. That's what life is for. Mm, probably don't even need to do anything crazy. Yep. Yeah, I thought I could ambush it. Well, we tried. Yeah, we definitely take out the soul-consuming flame first. It has no defense, but boy, when that thing goes, it does so much damage to us. All right, Jeff's now doing a sizable amount of damage to these things. Good, thank you. Attack, don't possess me anymore. Please don't possess me anymore. I just got cured. Okay, good. All right. We're starting to recover here. Fortunately, the very top, we've got problems. Oh boy. Ah, fuck. One more fight. Alright. As long as it doesn't get to go. Oh my god, everybody's missing. Please tell me that kills. Thank you. Okay. As long as it didn't get to go, we were okay. Anybody? Okay, good. We gained a level with Jeff just before a really tough fight. Let's see, does everybody have what I want? Uh, wow, you've got three bags of Dragonite? That seems, um, excessive. Okay, we'll give the exit mouse to Paula. Hell, I might even have her use the Sudden Guts pill on Ness, actually. What does that do again? High nutrients. You recover about 80 hit point. Wow, really? That's it? Just get rid of that. <laughs> Give this shit about 80, 80 HP. The lucky jerky on their hand is pretty decent. We might use the monkey's love here. Monkey's love, because why not? I definitely will use the defense shower here. Let's see, is there anything else that I want to keep or get rid of in all this whole bullshit? All right. You. Drink that water. Good. You're going to need it. <laughs> you're going to need it because you're going to be doing a lot. I don't think there's anything else for you to necessarily do here. Okay. We are ready. Let's fucking do this. Holy shit. You finally got here. This is the eighth your, san your sanctuary location. Take it from me, if you dare. So now we've got a twin boss here, Carbon Dog, which is bad enough. But as Freakbot pointed out, Diamond Dog is worse. And we're gonna have to fight both of these forms to get to the eighth and final Your Sanctuary location. Holy shit, this thing's a beast. Oh, we've, we've got this.
the neutralizer. I don't think this thing has a shield at first, but we'll try it anyway. Starstorm. Hell yeah. Puppy! <laughs> yeah, except... <laughs> this pu Oh, thank you for using a loud piercing howl. This puppy is a beast, man. This thing will kill the ever-living shit out of us. Man, just use a fire extinguisher. I am going to try, Darkstar. I am going to try. Okay. So yeah, we're going to be doing freeze a lot. Yep, freeze Omega. Uh, I don't think we'll do the... Eh, you know what? We'll do the defense shower. And Starstorm. Yep. Not holding back. Good. Our defenses went up. We're going to need that. Now, Starstorm will... Is, the nice part about that is it hits everything. Oh. No. Boo. Boo. Painkillers. Well, I mean, yay, painkillers, but... Um... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. That's actually terrible. Come on. Come on. Oh, the power shield keeps fucking... Damn it. That fucking power shield is what screwed that all thing up. I was trying to life up Paula, but... Uh, so what happened there, because it may have, seen, it may have been a little unclear uh, what happened there. And understandable. <laughs> understandable if you missed it. Because of uh, how crazy that was. But um, all right, now we'll do the neutralizer. Um, and yes, we will heal Paula. <laughs> so Diamond Dog shows up and immediately gets... Oh my god. And who couldn't heal... Oh, who life got Paula fast enough? Jesus. So what happened is when you defeat Carbon, Do uh, Carbon Dog, he turns into Diamond Dog. Diamond Dog immediately spawns with a power shield. So any physical damage you have done past Carbon Dog will then get reflected back against you. And the problem is Paula had the incredible misfortune to have a smash attack to finish off Carbon Dog. So all of that crazy damage we did was actually to a detriment because it got reflected back and then hit all of us. And because it reflected back and hit all of us, it had to go through the text of hitting all of us before Ness's life up would process and actually heal Paula. So yeah, Carbon Dog, uh, Deej evolved into Bullshit Dog. Yes, I hate Diamond Dog so much. It's terrible. It sucks so much. But Jeff's, um, Jeff's, um, Neutralizer will take down the power shield. Hell, I might even just use a bag of Dragonite here. Uh, Paula, you have a, you have any couple life noodles? Yes, you do. We're going to use those on Pooh. Jeff, okay. At this point, now you can use the heavy bazooka because I don't have any bottle rockets. So that's just going to be how it goes. Actually, I should have Ness heal. Yeah, I should have Ness heal. Ness needs to heal. Ness needs to heal. Goddamn. Um, Paula needs to use the life noodles. Who? Jeff is going to hit you with a heavy bazooka. And Pooh was revived. Yep. Just started pouring by you. Yep. It's it's making its way through. <laughs> All right. So at this point, we should be okay hit point wise. I'm still going to life up Paula. I think we'll do freeze. It's not vulnerable to it, but at least freeze generally does a lot of damage. <laughs> Whoa, I leave for a second and now it's a shiny dog. Yeah. Yeah, this shiny dog will fuck us up. And has already started kind of fucking us up. <laughs> yeah, we'll do more. We'll do more. Actually, we'll just do more freeze. Freeze is a little more side point efficient. Oof. Diamond dog is a beast, man. Actually, I might have Ness do uh, the Bag of Dragonite next. Oh, Paula's... Oh, I keep forgetting her hit points are that... 
Oh my god, flash. It just flashed us and killed Paula instantly. Oh my god, I... This fucking dog, man! Holy shit! <laughs> Diamond, I love that. So Diamond Dog does this, like, basically a flashbang, and it could just kill your party sometimes. It has an instant death effect. It's Flash Omega. It's awful. Although it is fun when you use Flash Omega on other things and they die instantly. It's just not so much fun when it happens to me. But here we are. Yep. All right, let's just do Star Storm on it one more time. Oh, I think we're... Oh, I could use Poo to heal Paula. What am I doing? Ugh. Yep. Yikes, Ness turned to a gigantic fire-breathing dragon. Okay. Let's, um... We should still be all right. Let's just bash Diamond Dog. Heavy Bazooka. Okay. Goods. I need to... I think a brain food lunch is in order here, because I do recover side points when I do that. All right. There it is. There we go. Perfect. All right. More... F yeah, there it goes. Oh, my God. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. I can no longer... I mean, I could try a secret herb and hope it recovers somebody. Yep. Fuck. All right, well. I guess we're trying this. Fuck. This is a little, a little side efficient. I just got to keep trying to do more damage to it. It killed everybody else. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I really lost the ability to start keep resurrecting my uh, characters. And unfortunately, because of that uh, power shield. Yeah, let's just life up me. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Good. Okay. Now it bites me hard. Instead of the problem is it used flash. It just spammed flash until it killed everybody. Oh, I hate when it just doesn't work. Come on, man. I'm already having a hard enough battle with this thing. Uh, we're we might die here. This might be the end of us. Come on, process, life up. There we go. Okay, well, I think the bag of Dragonite will get reflected by that power shield. But at this point, I'm losing opportunity. I'm losing options. Well, I could try to bring down its power shield by just bashing it. You know what? Let's try that. It's going to reflect. We'll do a little damage. Oh my god! I didn't realize we were that close to killing her. Holy smokes, chat. Whoa, that thing is a beast. <laughs> Ness gained 300,000 XP. He got all of it. Because all of my friends died. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Ness's level is now 72. Oh boy. The question is, how many levels did Ness just gain there, right? All of the XP. <laughs> I'm guessing he'll have at least leveled up twice. Yep, he double leveled, at least. He triple leveled. <laughs> he fucking triple leveled off of that. My God, all my friends are dead. <laughs> oh, that is crazy, but we did it. We did it. We didn't have to back back out. And the fire spring will bring all my friends back. Oh shit, I should have double checked and made sure I didn't want to um, grab any items off of anybody. Fuck, I should have checked. I forgot to check. In the um, euphoria of surviving Diamond Dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have taken the Franklin badge. Yeah, it's too late. I definitely should have taken the Franklin badge. Fuck. 
I should have picked up the, the Franklin badge is the only one I really would have wanted, though. That's okay. That's all right. Yep, I thought of it this, the second I went into fire, fire spring, I went, oh, shit. See, if you're doing this, <laughs> if you're ever going to do a playthrough of this, after this, you lose access to your friends and everything else. So that's a good moment to just check inventory wise. And now we've heard the entire melody. And now we go into what I think is my favorite area of the game. I mean, obviously, depending on the day, I could give you a different answer, but I think generally this is my favorite spot of this game. <laughs> oh, this game is so much fun. <laughs> Wow, this game came out in 94. So this game must have come out when I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah. Yeah, I think this game did come out in my sophomore year. Goodness gracious. <laughs> hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He smiled just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope Fido won't be jealous of the baby. Ah, so Fido's older than we are. Let's celebrate with some pasta. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker, just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> so even as an infant, his psychic powers started to manifest. <laughs> and welcome everyone to the realm of magicant ness you've stood on the eight power spots of the earth from these you created magicant the realm of your mind in magicant there's beauty kindness sorrow and hatred of course there's an evil and violent side of you the sea of eden seats at the center of those feelings it takes you to the truth about yourself. And every time we talk to somebody, the color of the place changes. It's such a neat effect. This is the realm of magicant, with your, with your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Ness. Shit, we just had to, we just had a hailstorm over here. You know what? I probably had that same hailstorm. I just didn't realize it was a hailstorm. But yeah, it did make a lot of noise now that I'm thinking about it. Ness, maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of my fellow self when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. <laughs> Good old uh, Everdread here. This place is so awesome. Come on into Magicant. And of course, we got a telephone. <laughs> yep, we're going to save. We should have $230,000 in the bank. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be so much higher level than everybody else. Oh my goodness. Beep, 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 beep. I'm just a faint memory. You usually don't remember me, but you've heard my song in the back of your mind. It does make you wonder how much subconscious stuff you remember, but, you know, just don't really remember. Look at the sun. Face the sun and smile. Oh. Take a magic butterfly. Even though I'm at full power here. The sanctuary location took care of that for us. Hi, this shop specializes in puddings and pendants. You'd like to buy some, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. 
So we will buy the Earth Pendant. Although the Night Pendant ends up being good. But yeah, we will buy an Earth Pendant. Did I buy your Night Pendant? No, we're keeping that. Uh, can I do anything else for you? Nope. Yeah, we definitely want to keep the Night Pendant. The Night Pendant is awesome. But now I need to check and see what that even did. Earth Pendant. Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from fire, freeze, and flash. Good, okay. So yeah, the Earth Pendant is slightly better. Because the Night Pendant... Yeah, absorbs a flash attack. So the Earth Pendant is slightly better... Is a slightly better version of the Night Pendant. But I do want Magic Pudding. Because this is the only place that we could buy it. How much do we need? Magic Pudding. Uh, how much room do we need? <sighs> Shit. Well, we, keep, we gotta keep the Night Pendant to give to somebody else. Um, Shit, I might even not want to keep the Brain Food Lunch here. But maybe I should buy some more Magic Pudding. This is the only place we're even going to be able to buy it. Uh, good grief. Plus, I want to have a item spot open. Damn. All right. Maybe Tracy could store some shit. I don't think Tracy can store anything in here, though, because we're in Magikind. I don't believe we have access to Tracy's storage, but it would be nice if we do. Brother Ness, the Sea of Eden is at the end of Magikind. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, please, thank you. Yes. Yes, store the night pendant. So I do want to keep it, but... I'm going to need that bag. I'm going to need those bags of Dragonite later. But yeah, keep the brain food lunch. I don't think... I think I need to keep the soundstone for now. Actually, I don't know if I need that receiver phone anymore. I think I can now. No, I still need to keep the receiver phone. We need those. So, yep. We're good. Nope. Perfect. Mom. Oh, Ness, are you tired from traveling on your adventure? No, I'm wide awake. Be strong. Hey, Fido. I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be small and weak. I love the sheer gamut of... Um, of colors that can reflect here. Oh, and it was a quiet small town, wasn't it? Oh, and now we're back to the normal color palette. That's okay. People. So this is the last uh, town of the game. I can talk to this thing. Ness, did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? <laughs> you kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. <laughs> the zombies from Threed. Hey, it's Master Barf. You destroyed my pard. Arg. <laughs> hey, it's Magikant. Talk to this kid. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. I'd like you to take your time, because this country will disappear when you wake up, and it's true. Peace. We haven't played together lately. Yeah, yeah. Fresh. Ness, Pokey took my snack. Yeah, shocker. Long time no see, Ness. Let's play. I don't remember what's in this. Side caramel. All right. Well, we'll keep that for now. I probably will end up tossing that. Oh, this is a hotel. Please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things you aren't aware of. Aware of. You want to sleep? Sure. <laughs> Since we already came in here, why not? So if we really need to, we can go to the hotel there. Oh, this guy. Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? Poor Ness. He wants Pokey to be his friend but that's just not what he's about. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost <laughs> before he achieved his goal. So up here is something really awesome. Yes, I still feel pain for where you wounded me. These guys are 
Awesome. The Flying Men. I am your courage. I follow you here, Magican. My name? Let's say Flying Man. And one Flying Man will accompany you at a time. Unfortunately, we can't recruit all of these guys. Only We can only have one Flying Man with us at a time. And they're limited. So when we uh, when a Flying Man dies, that's it. And they'll get extra tombstones. Oh boy, here we go. The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Up is the way we want to go, I think. Ah. Hey, me. I found my cap that you lost. Ness got the baseball cap. I did? Oh, I had extra spots, I guess. Huh. But yeah, I we could just get rid of it. It's the original baseball cap. <laughs> so if I try to equip it, our, our defense will be complete dog shit. So unfortunately, okay, we will take the bag of Dragonite. Uh, yeah, we're going to need that, that item spot still open. We have now three bags of Dragonite, and we're going to need all of that. Stone, town map, receiver phone. Yep, we're good here. All right, let's do this. Scroll over. Try not to even fight that thing. Yep. The further we get, the better. Okay. I think up is the way we actually want to go. I just don't remember. Nope. Want to go that way. Let's get that treasure. Let's get that present. Yeah, here we go. This is where I really wish we had that flank Franklin badge. <clears throat> the electro swoosh. That's why I love these flying men. <laughs> they send a greeting. They do like to send a greeting first, and then they'll start throwing uh, lightning. Yep, here it comes. I actually prefer them to do damage to me than the flying man, because I can't heal the flying men. Whereas at least me, I could heal myself. Now, this might be goddess band, okay? Cool. Uh, you know what? Let's go back and let's just give... Let's give that one to Tracy. Loaded dice, shit. Fly me in through punch! Oh, fuck. Damn it. Alright, we gotta get rid of that electric swoosh. What? Quit calling for help, you little bastard! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, fine. I guess we have to deal with the loaded dice. <laughs> No, those Electro Sushis could do so much damage to us. Oh my goodness gracious, fine. I guess we have to kill the fucking loaded dice here. But since we already did damage to that one... Ah, that's a problem. Hit me, hit me, thank you. Good. There we go. Well, we're gonna get a ton of XP off this battle. Okay, so clearly I need to deal with the loaded dice, because it keeps calling for help successfully. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Hit me, hit me. Good. Thank you. I know it sounds weird saying hit me, but I can't heal the flying man. No. Yeah. Do damage. Fuck. Damn it. There we go. Flying man died. Damn it. Well, that didn't take long. The flying men are so fragile, man. Alright. Jesus, it's still not dead. Heal. <laughs> At least one of them missed. That's okay. 
We're gonna. Oh shit! Now the now we gotta kill the foppy. Cause now it could use side attacks. Shit. Yep. A lot of damage. <sighs> We're heading back anyway. Doesn't matter. Yeah, of course. Now that it doesn't matter, it misses. <laughs> Go figure, right? When it doesn't matter, that's when it misses. When I want it to not hit, that's when, that's when it, you know. Oh, it's good grief. Yeah, now it hits me twice to actually do real damage. There we go. That's enough of that one. Although a normal hit would have killed it too. I wish I had gotten a normal hit on that and then a smash on that one. The electro swoosh. Sends a greeting. <laughs> we got this guy. We'll just bash it. Yeah, all right. If this doesn't kill it, I'll need to heal. But we got it. Okay, how much XP did Seraph get from that? I got more. I got a third of the XP I got from Diamond Dog on this fight. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, we got Rock and Omega. Unfortunately, we lost our di our uh, Flying Man already. But whenever we lose a Flying Man, oh. Yep, there it is. They get a tombstone. Nessus Courage is resting here. He fought well and died. Ugh. Yeah, we got, we had some bad luck with the loaded dice. Successfully calling for help each time. I mean, they like to call for help, but... Holy crap. Can't believe they called for help that many times successfully. I think that was just particularly poor luck on our part. But not... Not that big a deal. Brother Ness, the Sea of Eden is the other edge of Bandicant. It's a strange place. Yes. Store. Store the Cherubs Band. Thank you. Nope. Nope. Okay. Now we go to the hotel. Grab another Flying Man. And we resume. Hopefully this time we make it. Uh, that's not the hotel. The hotel's over here. Although I should save. I would like to do magic and by the time we leave, but maybe this this might actually be getting to a point where it might be it might start to make sense to kind of call it here. Um, it is getting a little late. I am getting hungry. Main thing is I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yes, let's sleep. Let's recover. And this might be a good time to start wrapping things up. Hey, Freakbot, if you're still around, uh, are you streaming yet? Or are you uh, not going live till like 7.30? Yeah, now it gives me a magic butterfly. Go figure. <laughs> I could try another sojourn into Magicant, but my stomach is asking to be fed. <laughs> I do want to save. Where's the phone? Phone's up here, right? Phone's up here by my family. Where's the phone in the store? Phone's in the store. I knew that. I knew the phone was in the store. Jeez, all the magic butterflies now are here. Nope, that's the shop. There we go. There's the phone. Perfect. Telephone. This picked up. Yep. It's called Dad. Let's save. Now that we've gained even more levels. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um but yeah, I think I think we're good here. Let's let's call this. We did pretty well. We got two magicant. We got the rest of the sanctuary locations. I would call this a a success. So we're going to quit out of the emulator here and let's see who might be on. Let's uh start rolling things up here as I start getting ready for dinner. And um, so quick channel update. I will be on tomorrow at like six o'clock. Uh, we're going to play some more Fallout 4, most likely. And that is going to be fun. Uh, I'm really excited about getting into the meat of that now. And we'll be we'll be doing some exciting things with that. Probably doing a little bit more settlement building here mixed sprinkled in. But uh, my suspicion is that we're going to get into uh, the heart of Automatron tomorrow. Uh, unless I come up with a different order of uh, order of things, we might just get we might just get McCready and do some other gallivanting around uh, the Boston ruins. 
but I think tomorrow is a good time to do Automatron because some of that leads us somewhat close to the castle and we've got Preston by the castle looking to uh, liberate that. So I'm, I'm thinking tomorrow is probably going to be a good Automatron stream. And um, anyway, so we're we're going to be good. We're going to be good there. So in the meantime, let's get this all fired up here. Let's raid somebody. Oh my goodness gracious. Why why on earth Twitch switched the uh, raid filter? I, I have no idea. I, I just, I just. <laughs> that is the, the most bizarre thing. Um, not really sure what they were thinking there. You know what? I'll just open up another browser window. <laughs> so, oh, I see. Uh, I see. Plotty just went live. You know what? Maybe we'll maybe we'll just raid her, uh, since it looks like she just went live. So yeah, let's let's raid Plotty. That sounds good, since Freakbot isn't on yet. And uh, any event, I will see everybody tomorrow. Uh, of course, I of course I search instead of just clicking down like I could before. Why? I'm not really sure. That's okay. Um, but in any event, I want to thank everybody who dropped by. Nikki, I hope you feel better. Everybody had a great time. You're all awesome. I will see many of you tomorrow. I hope the rest of you have an absolutely lovely uh, and you, you might say resplendent weekend. And I will uh, see you guys all later. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. I really, really appreciate it. You're all awesome. And I will talk to you guys all approximately later. When it processes, it's totally processing. This is super awkward. <laughs> all right, this time for real. Sayonara, everyone. set perfect <laughs>